Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. I, Sun Gohan, cut off Bulma at the beginning. Chapter 81 After dealing with Babidi's sarcastic follower, Sun Gohan turned to Goku Buu. Mr. Sun Gohan, please be careful, Majin Buu is stronger than before. At this time, Shin also kindly reminded Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan shrugged his shoulders and said relaxedly and cheerfully, Master Supreme Kai, thank you for your reminder, but I think you haven't forgotten what I just said. Ah, Shin and Jabiter were stunned for a moment. Could it be that you were serious just now? A guy like Majin Buu can kill 8,000 people with just a single fart. Sun Gohan didn't explain too much, instead he said to Goku Buu, Hey, what are you looking at, you idiot, it's your turn next. From the analysis of Goku Buu's chi, Sun Gohan's, 930, judged that this Buu's combat power was at least no less than 100 Jing. Probably it was the big hand controlling this matter behind him that made Buu stronger. Add in the fact that he absorbed Piccolo, Sun Goku, and Vegeta, and the power has grown again. Therefore, today's Goku Buu, the fighting power will reach such an astonishing level. If Chao Senkong were to fight here, I'm afraid he wouldn't be hanged up by Bu, who has a combat power of 100 Jing. Now Sun Gohan finally knows why Sun Goku and the three of them were all absorbed by Bu so quickly. Hey hey, Goku Bu tilted his head and showed a weird smile, as if he didn't pay much attention to Sun Gohan. Then he punched out on the spot. Call out, Goku Bu's arms stretched out, and he blasted towards Sun Gohan's face like a rocket. Snapped. Sun Gohan reached out with one hand and easily caught Goku Buu's fist. And when Goku Buu wanted to retract his fist, he found that Sun Gohan's hands were like iron tongs, holding his fist tightly, and he couldn't retract it at all. You idiot, what are you doing standing so far away, come here. Sun Gohan exerted a little force, and Goku Buu, who was standing a hundred meters away, quickly shrank back. When he got close, Goku Buu raised his other fist and struck Sun Gohan's head several times. Sun Gohan just stood there and let Goku Buu hit him, but he couldn't hit him with a single punch. Sun Gohan still didn't forget to add a little mental torture to him, I can't hit him at such a close distance. Didn't I wake up, you idiot? Now Goku Buu was itching his teeth. Immediately, a head hammer was thrown at Sun Gohan. Harder than the head, let's see whose head is harder. This time Sun Gohan didn't dodge either, and also hit him with a head hammer. Bang! The two heads collided. Sun Gohan was fine, but Goku Buu was hit by Sun Gohan's head hammer, and his eyes were full of stars, and his world was spinning. Immediately afterwards, Sun Gohan grabbed Goku Buu's fist violently, and Goku Buu's arm twisted several times like a screw. Then Sun Gohan punched him straight in the face. Boom! The terrifying power directly blasted a big hole in Goku Buu's chest, except for a little escaped power, the rest of the power acted on Goku Buu's body. Although Goku Buu's fighting power is 100 Kyung, but in the hands of Sun Gohan whose normal fighting power is more than 1 Kyo, Goku Buu seems to be hit by dimensionality reduction. Just one punch, just let Goku Buu, who was invincible and invincible just now, be beaten so hard that he can't take care of himself. Vomit. Goku Buu was lying on the ground, his face was extremely painful, as if he was going to spit out something. Good, so strong. At this moment, Shin and Jabiter on the side were stunned, and turned on the shock mode on the spot. Make Majin Buu look like this with just one punch. Are you really bragging? What's wrong with Majin Buu? Soon, Shin also noticed Goku Buu's abnormality. Sun Gohan explained, it would be too easy for me to kill him, but now I can't do it, I have to make him spit out dad, Vegeta and Piccolo uncle first. Is it even possible to do this? Shin and Jebit blinked their eyes and said in a daze. The person absorbed by Majin Buu can still make him spit it out. Sun Gohan said to himself, as long as you have good strength, it can be done. Immediately, under the incredulous eyes of Shin and Jebit, Buu retched for a while and then threw up violently. Sun Gohan, who was originally absorbed, was spit out by Buu out of thin air. After spitting out Sun Goku, Jehu's appearance also changed. The orange training suit that was originally worn on the body has become Vegeta's vest. Obviously, just now, Sun Gohan's punch caused quite a bit of injury to Buu. After spitting out Sun Goku, the big hole in Buu's chest, he still hasn't been able to repair. Next, 
The beating continued. Majin Buu, there is no way to fight back. Sim and Jabit watched Son Gohan unilaterally ravage Majin Buu almost in shock. After Son Goku was spit out, Vegeta was next, and finally Piccolo. By the time Son Goku and the others were spit out, coupled with his extremely serious injuries, Inbu's chi had dropped a lot at this time. If it weren't for his special physique and vitality, Big Buu would have died long ago. How can it last till now? After finally spitting out Piccolo, Big Buu stared at the kind Son Gohan with gloomy eyes. Ah, ah, cemetery. Big Buu suddenly looked up to the sky and screamed, and the unwilling roar resounded through the sky. The ground under the feet of Son Gohan and the others also began to vibrate. Obviously, Big Buu doesn't want to just fall into the hands of Son Gohan, he wants to fight back, to reverse the situation, to turn defeat into victory. Majin Buu, already going crazy. Shin's mood now is both excited and a little worried. He was worried that once Big Buu went crazy, even Son Gohan wouldn't be able to handle it well. Master Supreme Kai, don't make such a fuss, he can't do anything. Talking, Son Gohan stretched out his hand to hold it, and the dragon sword flashed out, exuding the meaning of supreme killing. Majin Buu, a monster from the ancient times, I will give you a good burial today, why? As soon as the dragon sword came out, Shin and Jebit suddenly felt that their blood was being suppressed. The two of them knelt down one after another, looking at the dragon sword in Sun Gohan's hand with apprehension on their faces. They have never seen this sword, but on this sword, they felt the absolute oppression from the upper gods. That is to say, lower. At the same time, Sun Gohan already raised the dragon god sword high in his hand, pointed it at Big Buu a hundred meters away, and swung it down suddenly. Dimensional Slash The dragon god sword slashed down. The golden sword light broke away from the sword edge. Call out. Wherever the golden sword light passed, all the space was cut, and it looked like it divided the space into two. In the blink of an eye, the golden sword glow went straight through Big Boo's body. Big Boo froze suddenly, immediately afterwards. Shin and Jebit were shocked to see that a golden trace split Big Boo in two. The break is as smooth as a mirror. Ah! When the golden energy trace attached to Big Boo's body took effect, Big Boo's body began to disappear at a speed visible to the naked eye, and his screams mixed with panic and fear resounded through the sky. That's it. Majin Buu, whom Shin and Jebit were extremely afraid of, was wiped out by Sun Gohan until there was not even a scum left. No matter how strong Big Boo's regenerative ability is, when he is wiped out without even a single cell left, he will not be able to regenerate. Until now, neither Shin nor Jebit had recovered from the shock. They even wondered if they were dreaming, the monster Majin Buu that existed in ancient times was easily and happily eliminated by Sun Gohan. Master Supreme Kai At this time, Sun Gohan put away the dragon sword, came to Shin, and said, I'll trouble you to clean up here, I still have something to do. Yes, this matter is naturally the driving force behind everything today. Kovach solved it. So did Babidi and Majin Buu, but the mastermind behind it, Sun Gohan, must also be found out. Otherwise, he can't guarantee whether things like today will continue to happen. Therefore, it is safest to cut off future troubles. Sun Gohan looked up at the sky, and in his dark and deep eyes, there was a cold killing intent. Clown, clown, Makarita gave you two chances to live, you don't cherish it, you have to die bar. Today I will fulfill you. The words fell. With a whoosh, Sun Gohan instantly disappeared from the sight of Shin and Jebit. Appearing again, Sun Gohan is already in the Gods of Destruction realm of the 11th universe, Vermut House. In the Palace of Gods of Destruction, Vermut was lying on the sofa as usual, surrounded by two maids in bunny costumes feeding him fruit or something, so happy. Tread tread, suddenly, a burst of heavy footsteps came from outside, and each footstep sounded like the death knell of death, ringing the countdown to Vermut's death. Makarita and Vermut naturally noticed the heavy footsteps. They looked towards the source of the sound. I saw Sun Gohan holding the dragon sword, like a god of death walking from hell, carrying a murderous intent, step by step in the sight of Vermut and Makarita. See this scene. Vermut's heart skipped a beat and he sat up on the spot. Makarita also frowned slightly, and asked, Mr. Sun Gohan, what are you doing today, dear? Sun Gohan had no expression on his face, and said coldly, take Vermut's life. The words fell, 
Sun Gohan immediately transformed into a beast form, and the dragon sword in his hand was aimed at Vermut from afar. The sense of killing that made people feel tense physically and mentally filled the entire Gods of Destruction Palace in an instant. Being pointed at by Sun Gohan with the dragon sword, Vermut couldn't keep his composure anymore, he stood up and said, Sun Gohan, don't bully me too much, I won't provoke you again. Sun Gohan sneered, It's really good acting, it's a waste if you don't become an actor. In that case, today I will let you die clearly. Just now, my planet held a martial arts conference. During my daughter Sun Xiaoling's fight with a boy named Kovach, the boy named Kovach suddenly turned to my daughter after he was at a disadvantage. A destructive energy bomb was thrown, if I hadn't intercepted it in time. Heard the words, Vermut spread his hands and said, even if what you said is true, what does it have to do with me? Stop spitting blood here. Still stubborn, Sun Gohan suddenly smiled, he calmly analyzed clearly. Destruction energy, this is the unique energy of gods of destruction, right? But among the twelve gods of destruction today, you are the only one who has a problem with me. What happened back then, as gods of destruction, you must still be worried about me. You can't do anything about me, but you can attack people around me, right? The next moment, Sun Gohan's tone suddenly became extremely fierce, and Lee shouted, do you think that you have done these shitty things seamlessly, without revealing any flaws, so no one will know that you did it? When Sun Gohan said these words, Vermut's face visibly panicked. But soon, he went back without any trace of concealment. So it's just your inference without any solid basis, right? Vermut remained unhurried and said extremely calmly. That's right, I still remember that incident back then, but I am the gods of destruction, so killing a person is simply not worth the trouble. The energy of gods of destruction appeared on your planet, and you suspect it's me. Am I, Vermut, so easy to bully? Well, Mr. Sun Gohan, what Master Vermut said makes sense, dear. At this time, Makarita also said, If Master Vermut did such a thing, I would definitely know about it, but I don't know about it at all, and based on what I know about Master Vermut, he shouldn't be here. It's right to move these hands and feet behind your back, dear. Sun Gohan shrugged his shoulders and said disapprovingly, he did dirty things, can you let me know? Also, you never know what kind of dark heart is hidden under the seemingly beautiful surface of a person. Never underestimate the darkness of human nature. In the final analysis, he, Vermut, is just a human who cultivated to gods of destruction, not a natural god like you. If I hadn't been absolutely sure, I wouldn't have come to my door today. Miss Macarita, Please use your magic staff to check, the source of the destructive energy should be easy to find. Yes, besides Vermut, Sun Gohan can't think of anyone else. Champa, impossible, back then, when Champa lost to himself, he just sulked for a while. Champa's character Sun Gohan is not ignorant. His temper is very violent, but he is obviously not so scheming. And when Vermut heard that Sun Gohan asked Makarita to use the angel staff to inquire about the source of the destructive energy, beads of sweat suddenly covered his forehead. Makarita thought for a while, and then decided to check the source of the destructive energy as Sun Gohan said. Immediately, Makarita looked at the black crystal ball on the top of the staff, and the scene that happened just now in the ring of the 25th Tianxiai Budokai appeared. At the moment when Chao Yi Sun Xiaoling launched a decisive attack, Kovach Palm suddenly condensed a destructive energy bomb exuding a destructive aura. It turned out to be true. Markarita was amazed. What age does a child destroy energy? Stop kidding. There is no doubt that it must have been given to him by someone else. As for who this person is, you only need to follow Kovach to find out. Just when Makarita was about to continue to investigate, Vermut suddenly said, Makarita, don't forget who is your master, I didn't ask you to help Sun Gohan find out the source of the destructive energy. Sun Gohan frowned. Vermut sounds like, why is it so like a werewolf who revealed that there is no silver 300 tails here? If you are not the mastermind behind the scenes, what are you afraid of? Makarita, you don't want Vermut to be wronged by me. Sun Gohan said. Makarita nodded slightly, turned her head and said to Vermut, Master Vermut, if you really didn't do it, why should you be afraid, dear? Besides, if Mr. Sun Gohan can't be given the truth today, he probably won't let it go. Of course, if you can deal with Mr. Sun Gohan, it doesn't matter if I check or not. 
All of this is based on strength. If Vermut had a way to deal with Sun Gohan, how could he be approached by Sun Gohan with the Dragon Sword today? Vermut was speechless for a moment, but, I am the gods of destruction, how can I be slandered by a human being at will? The more this happened, the more confident Vermut said, there is no need for me to cooperate with you without any evidence. Humph, gods of destruction. Sun Gohan sneered, I'm still thinking about you, the shabby gods of destruction. In my eyes, you are already a dead person, you know. Makarita, look it up for me. Makarita shook her head. She had no choice but to find out the truth as much as possible and return Vermut's innocence. Then, Makarita used the angel staff again, and looked down the boy Kovach. When getting closer to the truth, Makarita's face gradually became serious. Because through the tracking of angel staff, she suddenly discovered that the boy named Kovach was secretly assigned by Vermut to go to Earth. Even Majin Buu was awakened and Vermut was behind the scenes. When the truth came to light, a playful look appeared on Sun Gohan's face. This result was within his expectation. Secondly, when seeing the destructive energy from Kovach, the first person Sun Gohan associates with is Vermut. In fact, to find Vermut, Sun Gohan only needs to sort out the relationship between himself and various gods of destruction, so Sun Gohan can guess Vermut, the mastermind behind the scenes, with his feet. It's Vermut's expression, which is wonderful. Come on, what else do you want to say, clown gods of destruction backquote? It's me, so what? Now that the matter has been exposed, Vermut simply stopped pretending. He sneered and said, Sun Gohan, back then you made me lose face in front of the proud team. In this matter, as gods of destruction, if I don't get back on the field, how can I be gods of destruction in the future? Quote, it's just a pity that my revenge plan has not been completed. If I had known this, I should have done it myself. It doesn't matter if I die, don't even think about it. Seeing the poor dagger, it belongs to yes. Unfortunately, you have no chance. With killing intent in his eyes, Sun Gohan said coldly, you were responsible for what happened back then, no one can blame you. It's your arrogance as the gods of destruction that ruined you. He he he, Vermut smiled strangely, and then relaxed all over, actually, from the very beginning, I knew that you would definitely find out that it was me, and you would definitely come to me. I just hate, hate them fools who are worthless. Is this your last words? After I finish speaking, I should send you on your way. Hum, Sun Gohan swung the dragon god sword in his hand violently, and the sharp edge of the sword suddenly let out a sword sound, as if he was pronouncing Vermut's death sentence. Mr. Sun Gohan, Makarita stopped Sun Gohan suddenly, and pleaded with her eyes, is there really no turning back? Dear, what do you say? Sun Gohan asked directly, let Vermut continue to live in this world, then things like today will continue to happen in the future. Only when he dies can future troubles be avoided. Makarita gave you two chances to survive, since you don't cherish it yourself, then I will grant it to you. Say it, Sun Gohan swung his sword down. The golden sword light broke away from the sword edge. The golden sword light was like the scythe of death, and wiped Vermut's neck. The eleventh universe gods of destruction, who had only been in office for a million years, fell away. Goodbye, Master Vermut. Finally, Makarita bowed deeply towards the direction where Vermut disappeared. She has done her best. But Vermut is a pig teammate. I saved him twice from Sun Gohan, and I had to die. Hum, just after Vermut died, a purple space vortex suddenly appeared. An amiable but oppressive figure followed. This figure is the steward of Zeno, the father of all the angels, and the grand priest of the grand angel. The arrival of the grand priest also exceeded Makarita's expectation. She hurried forward, bowed slightly, and said respectfully, I have seen Mr. Grand Priest. Sun Gohan also didn't expect that he just killed a Vermut, and even attracted the grand priest. Sun Gohan. The grand priest ignored Makarita and turned his attention to Sun Gohan. Precisely. It's the dragon sword in Sun Gohan's hand. Grand Priest asked, May I know what is that sword in your hand? Ah, Sun Gohan was taken aback, and replied, Dragon God Sword, it should be the sword of Dragon God Salama, what's wrong? Grand Priest smiled amiably. Now that you know, I won't go into details. Although I don't know how you obtained it, what I want to tell you is that this sword contains the power of the Dragon God, 
because it, it can be used not only for killing, but also for creating and saving people. Ha, huh, really? Sun Gohan was startled. This. The system doesn't seem to have told him. It's outrageous that such an important functional system was not mentioned to him. Grand Priest nodded slightly, and continued. Since this sword is in your hands now, it belongs to you, but the Dragon God Sword also symbolizes an identity, the Great Gods of Destruction. When Salama and I created the Priesthood of the Great Gods of Destruction, he attributed the Dragon God Sword to the Great Gods of Destruction, but at that time, for some unknown reason, the Dragon God Sword disappeared. So this sword has never appeared in the Big Gods of Destruction space. Since you, good Zhao, hold the Dragon God Sword, maybe you can try to see if you can pass the test of the Great Gods of Destruction space and become the first Great Gods of Destruction in history. Let me tell you another secret, holding the Dragon God Sword, the probability of passing the test will increase. Hear the words, Sun Gohan's eyes widened slightly, full of surprise. This Dragon God Sword actually has such a secret. Holding the Dragon Sword in hand, the probability of passing the Big Gods of Destruction space test will increase. If this is the case, then the Dragon Sword that was opened from the God Level Treasure Chest is really worth the money. Without waiting for Sun Gohan to say something, Grand Priest continued, The Big Gods of Destruction space will open again in eight years, before that you still have enough time to think about it, with your strength and talent, I am more optimistic about you. Sun Gohan, finished talking, Grand Priest didn't stay for too long. With the disappearance of the Purple Space Vortex, Grand Priest's figure also disappeared from the sight of Sun Gohan and Makarita. Call. As soon as Grand Priest left, Sun Gohan let out a long sigh of relief. At first he thought that the Grand Priest was here to trouble him, but now it seems that he was overthinking. Think about it carefully too. Don't you see that Zamasu in the future time and space killed all the Supreme Kai, causing the Gods of Destruction to die, didn't they also get liquidated? It can be seen from this. Gods of Destruction is really not worth mentioning in the eyes of supreme gods like Grand Priest and Zeno. After all, the status of Gods of Destruction is very different from that of Angel. If Gods of Destruction dies, he will die, and the big deal is to find another one. All Angels are the children of Grand Priest. Even if they are problem children, Grand Priest does not want to lose any Angel. Mr. Sun Gohan, in fact, I have already seen that you have the potential to be the great gods of destruction. Looking at it now, there is a high probability that you will be the first great gods of destruction. Markarita also congratulated and said, I am looking forward to your performance in eight years, dear. Sun Gohan spread his hands and said, This, let's talk about it at a later time. After all, I'm too full of words now, and I won't be able to take it back when the time comes. If there is nothing else, I will take my leave first. When Sun Gohan returned to the earth, Jebit had already used his own healing technique to restore all three of Sun Goku to life. Seeing Sun Gohan come back, the three of Sun Goku can probably guess what happened just now. It was nothing more than Sun Gohan shot, solved Majin Buu, and rescued them by the way. What about this Buu? Piccolo gestured to Fat Buu lying on the ground in a coma with his eyes, and said. When they arrived just now, it was Fat Boo who was fighting Big Boo. So Piccolo can also guess that this Fat Boo should be kind. Give him to Mr. Satan. Sun Gohan said, Fat Boo, let's leave it to Mr. Satan. The two have a good personality, so Sun Gohan and others don't need to think about the placement of Fat Boo. Immediately, Sun Gohan raised his head and said to Shin, Master Supreme Kai, you can go back, I will go to your place in two days. Then take my leave. It's not clear what Sun Gohan is going to do with Supreme Kai, but now that Majin Buu has been dealt with, it's beeb time for them to return to Supreme Kai too. After Shin and Jebit left, Sun Gohan and his group took Fat Buu back to the scene of the world's number. One Martial Arts Association. This moment, due to the absence of Sun Gohan, the senior group match was also over. The title of the 25th champion fell to number 18, and she also successfully received a championship bonus of 10 million yuan. Two days later, Sun Gohan stepped foot on the holy land of Supreme Kai world for the first time. It is said to be a holy place, but it is actually an extremely boring place. Shin extended a warm welcome to Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan glanced at the Supreme Kai sword on the boulder in the middle of the lake not far away and asked, Do you know the origin of that sword? 
You said the Supreme Kai Sword. Shin enthusiastically explained to Sun Gohan. The Supreme Kai Sword is a legendary sword. It is said that pulling out the Supreme Kai Sword will give you a huge power. Yes, Sun Gohan raised his eyebrows and asked again, Who told you? Ah, Shin was taken aback. Anyway, this is passed down by word of mouth from the former Supreme Kai seniors, I think it should be true. Suddenly, Shin suddenly thought of a very important question, and said with anticipation, Mr. Sun Gohan, we have tried this Supreme Kai sword in the past, Shendu, but we can't pull out this legendary sword. If Mr. Sun Gohan if so, I think it should be okay. Sun Gohan smiled and said, Actually, pulling out the Supreme Kai sword will not gain any great power at all. I will show you the secret hidden in that Supreme Kai sword after a while. For now, Lord Supreme Kai, I came today to ask you to borrow something. What? Shin blinked, puzzled. Time ring, time ring. When Sun Gohan offered to borrow the time ring, Sin and Jebit's pupils suddenly opened. It's not a good idea to borrow time rings. What? Difficulty. Sun Gohan frowned. Shin looked puzzled. Mr. Sun Gohan, the time ring involves time and space time issues. If Mr. Sun Gohan borrowed the time ring and caused confusion in the timeline of a certain time and space, I cannot bear the responsibility. Quote. Oh, I see. Sun Gohan nodded thoughtfully. Since you were responsible for borrowing it out, it's none of your business to lose it due to force majeure. What? Shin and Jebit blinked in confusion, as if they hadn't realized the seriousness of the matter. Snapped. Snapped. Sun Gohan directly two-handed knife, brought down and Jabit. Then he swaggered into the Supreme Kai Palace and found the time ring of the future time and space. Yes, Sun Gohan wants the time ring, of course to go to the future time and space. After all, he hasn't seen Bulma, number 18, and Sun Xiaoling in the future for several years. In addition, Babidi landed on the Earth two days ago, so Sun Gohan wants to visit the future time and space. If the future Babidi landed on the Earth long ago, the 18th and 17th of the future time and space alone will not be able to deal with Majin Buu. So what is the situation in the future time and space, I still have to find out. Future time and space. The figure of Sun Gohan suddenly appeared from the sky above Universal Capsule Company. After arriving in the future time and space, Sun Gohan looked around and was secretly relieved to see that the Universal Capsule Company was safe and sound. At least from the current point of view, the future time and space should not be a big deal. And when Sun Gohan appeared above the Universal Capsule Company in the future time and space, Bulma in the yard discovered it immediately. She blinked her feminine blue-green eyes, afraid to say, Hey, number 18, is that Gohan? What? Number 18 followed Bulma's line of sight and saw Sun Gohan as expected. Yes, it's Gohan. After number 18 confirmed that she was not mistaken, a look of excitement immediately appeared on Chao's face. Gohan. Number 18 rushed up immediately and threw himself into Sun Gohan's arms. In the room. After listening to Bulma talk about the development of the future space-time in the past few years, Sun Gohan fell into a brief thought. According to Bulma, the future time and space have been peaceful and ruthless in the past few years. So Babidi still hasn't landed on Earth. In this case, save yourself. I just need to find Babidi in the future time and space and kill him. By the way, Majin Buu's egg was also destroyed. In this way, it saves a lot of trouble for the Earth in the future time and space. Dad, I want to practice. Just when Sun Gohan was thinking, the future Sun Xiaoling suddenly came up, took Sun Gohan's arm, and said excitedly. Sun Gohan took a look, Sun Xiaoling in front of him. Since the future Sun Xiaoling is more than three years older than the Sun Xiaoling in the Master Time and Space, this almost nine-year-old Sun Xiaoling has already grown into a particularly juicy body. It is not difficult to see that he must be a beauty embryo when he grows up. Okay, Dad will teach you. Sun Gohan showed a fatherly and peaceful smile, and said, but you have to wait for a while, there are still some things to deal with. Okay, Sun Xiaoling nodded solemnly. Originally, before Sun Gohan came, Bulma had been teaching her to concentrate on studying and studying, but how could Sun Xiaoling, who has the blood of Saiyan, be willing to study obediently? So taking advantage of Sun Gohan's rare visit, Sun Xiaoling hurried to ask Sun Gohan for help. 
So when she heard that Sun Gohan promised to teach her how to practice, even if she had to wait for a while, Sun Xiaoling showed a bright and innocent smile. Immediately, Sun Gohan stood up, Bulma, on the 18th, I'm going out. In the universe space, a universe ship is on an interstellar voyage. Inside the spaceship, Babidi and Dabra, the king of the demon world, looked at the giant egg in front of them, and they both had great ambitions on their faces. The energy needed to awaken Majin Buu has almost been collected. Babidi opened his arms, his wrinkled face was full of ambition. As long as you have Majin Buu, the whole universe will fall under my control, shout. Dabra on the side also showed a sinister smile. I think instead of thinking about it so much, you should think about how to see the sun tomorrow. Cemetery. An unfamiliar voice resounded in this space, and fell clearly in the ears of Babidi and Dabra. Who? The sudden sound made Babidi instantly alert. Judging from this sentence and tone, the other party was not kind. But how could there be intruders on his Babidi's universe spaceship? Call out. Just when Babidi was wondering, Sun Gohan's figure suddenly appeared. As soon as Sun Gohan appeared, Babidi immediately took a step back, and Dapra stepped forward to block Babidi. Who are you? Babidi looked at Sun Gohan warily. The one who destroys your dreams. Sun Gohan said lightly, the cold killing intent quietly permeated the entire space. It's the enemy, Dabra, quickly. Boom. Just as Dabra was about to make a move after receiving Babidi's order, Sun Gohan punched in the air, and an invisible shock wave instantly penetrated Dabra's heart. PFF. A mouthful of blood spurted out from Dabra's mouth. His pupils were wide open, looking at Sun Gohan in disbelief. Dabra, the majestic king of the demon world, unexpectedly. He didn't even have a chance to make a move, so he was instantly killed by the opponent. Next second, thump, Dabra fell straight down without a sound. Dabra, the strongest subordinate, was caught in an instant, and Babidi couldn't hide the fear in his heart, and stepped back, you, who the hell are you? Originally Bobby was thinking about it, but Sun Gohan, already loyal subordinate. As a result, he was shocked to find that there was no evil seed in Sun Gohan's heart, which made it impossible for Babidi to control Sun Gohan like he controlled Dabra. After all, if he wants to control others, the other party must have the seeds of evil in his heart, otherwise it will be impossible. Sun Gohan showed a harmless smile and said, didn't I just say that? The one who destroys your dreams. The words fell. Sun Gohan stretched out his right hand, and a Qigong bullet took shape instantly, aiming at Babidi who was shivering in the corner. The panicked Babidi wanted to say something to buy time, but Sun Gohan didn't give him any chance at all. A Qigong bomb blasted out. Boom. The violent explosion swallowed Babidi in an instant, and finally affected the entire universe spaceship. And at the moment when the universe spacecraft turned into universe dust, Sun Gohan returned to Earth as an instant transmission. So far, Babidi in the future time and space and Majin Buu who could not be awakened were easily solved by Sun Gohan. Solved Babidi and Majin Buu. It is rare to come to the future time and space again, and Sun Gohan is not in a hurry to go back. Yard, Sun Gohan said to Sun Xiaoling. Xiaoling, you were already very strong in dad's time and space, and you can't fall behind. Sun Xiaoling's immature face had a resolute look, dad, I'm my sister, right, so I'm stronger than the me from dad. Sun Xiaoling is also a woman with a strong desire to win and lose, so she is naturally unwilling to lag behind Sun Xiaoling who is the master of time and space. It depends on whether you work hard or not. Sun Gohan chuckled. I will definitely work hard. Sun Xiaoling's tone was firm and her attitude was decisive. Let's begin then. On the side, Bulma looked at the father and daughter who had started to practice, and shook his head helplessly. Originally, Bulma's expectation for Sun Xiaoling was to let her take over his class when she grew up, but it turned out that she didn't care about studying and only cared about cultivation. This is just great. Since it was Sun Gohan who taught her to practice, Bulma obviously couldn't say anything. After the first day of high-intensity practice, Xiaoling, who was already exhausted, went to bed early. In the room, Gohan, how long do you plan to stay here this time? Bulma, who had already changed into her pajamas, finally found the opportunity to ask her most concerned question. After all, it had been years since she last saw Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan came to the future time and space again, 
Bulma of course wanted Sun Gohan to stay here longer. Sun Gohan gestured to the time ring on his right index finger, and said, As long as I have this, I can come to the future time and space at any time in the future. But this time, I plan to stay for ten days and half a month. Talking, Sun Gohan's eyes drifted to number 18 who was sitting in front of the dressing table, and a gleam flashed in his eyes. The future Bulma has already given birth to Sun Xiaoling for him, and it's time for number 18 to give birth to one too. Half a month later, Sun Gohan has returned to the main dimension. When Sun Gohan reappeared in the Supreme Kai world, Shin and Jebit's faces turned black. At first they thought what was the force majeure factor Sun Gohan was talking about, but they knocked them both out and took the time ring away. Very easy to use, Lord Supreme Kai, thank you for your time ring. Return the time ring to Shin, Sun Gohan said with a smile. Shin is full of black threads holding the time ring, you are still very easy to use, thank you. You didn't mess around in other time and space, so I thank your whole family. It's just that Sun Gohan has already returned from other time and space, and it seems meaningless for Shin to talk about other things now. Don't worry, I didn't mess with you in other time and space, so I don't need a face. Sun Gohan patted Shin on the shoulder with a smile, then changed the subject and looked at the lake not far away. By the way, didn't I tell you half a month ago to show you the Supreme as the true secret of the Kai Sword? Let's reveal it now. When it came to the Supreme Kai Sword, Shin also became interested. He asked, Mr. Sun Gohan, what is the secret in this Supreme Kai Sword? As far as I know, it should be the one who pulls out the legendary sword. Great power. And Mr. Sun Gohan, even if it is you, it should be difficult to pull out the legendary sword. Jebit continued. This legendary sword has been inserted there for an unknown number of years. Shin and Jibit have never heard of any Supreme Kai who can pull out this sword. Sun Gohan smiled mysteriously, and said, What should I say, it is your strength that limits your cognition, it is not difficult to pull out the Supreme Kai sword, and the secret hidden in the Supreme Kai sword should be enough to scare you all jump. While speaking, Sun Gohan has come to the edge of the lake. A huge boulder lay across the center of the lake, and on the top of the boulder, the Supreme Kai Sword was inserted obliquely into it at a 45-degree angle. Immediately, under the curious eyes of Shin and Jebit, Sun Gohan tapped his toes and jumped onto the boulder in the middle of the lake. Sun Gohan stretched out his right hand, grasping the hilt of Supreme Kai's sword. This moment, Sin and Jebit both held their breath. Can Sun Gohan really pull out this legendary sword? What is the secret hidden in the Supreme Kai Sword that Sun Gohan said? These two big questions filled the minds of Shin and Jibit, and it was only waiting for Sun Gohan to reveal the answer for them. Immediately afterwards, Sun Gohan frowned slightly, and then held the hand of Supreme Kai's sword with a little force. Rumble, as Sun Gohan exerted force, the boulder with the Supreme Kai sword began to vibrate violently. Then, Shin and Jebit were shocked to see that the Supreme Kai sword that had been buried for so many years was pulled out by Sun Gohan effortlessly. What? What, Kai, Supreme Kai Sword, Dot was, really, pulled out by. This moment, Shin and Jebit lost their expression management ability on the spot, and their jaws were so shocked that they almost fell to the ground. Although they were mentally prepared, they were still extremely shocked when they saw Sun Gohan pull out the legendary Excalibur with their own eyes. Sun Gohan weighed the Supreme Kai Sword in his hand, and tilted his head slightly, indicating that this is it. Shin and Jebit were also speechless for a while. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, they wouldn't have believed that this legendary sword could really be pulled out. And judging by Sun Gohan's appearance, he pulled it out without even wasting much effort. Dare to love is really like what Sun Gohan said, it is their strength that limits their cognition. Jebit took a deep breath and said in shock, It's hard, unbelievable. Dot the legendary sword was actually pulled out. This is unbelievable. Shin also swallowed hard. Tread. At this time, Sun Gohan has returned to the shore. Shin hurriedly suppressed his shock, and quickly asked, Mr. Sun Gohan, do you feel that you have acquired a huge force? Now that the legendary sword has been pulled out, Shin of course wanted to verify the legend about the Supreme Kai sword immediately. In Supreme Kai, there is a legend that as long as you can pull out the Supreme Kai sword, you will get a great power of electricity. Sun Gohan said speechlessly, 
It's not that powerful, but this sword is a little heavy. Yes, Shin looked puzzled and said, Mr. Sun Gohan, can you let me have a look? Without saying a word, Sun Gohan threw the World Lord S. Caliber directly. The moment Shin touched the Supreme Kai sword with both hands, thump, the huge weight contained on the Supreme Kai sword directly pressed Shinji heavily to the ground. Shin was directly crushed by the Supreme Kai sword and sank deeply into the ground, his expression painful. Help me, Shin tried his best, but he couldn't shake Supreme Kai's sword. If this goes on, he might have to burp within a minute. Master Supreme Kai, Jebit was also terribly frightened, he hurried forward to help, but his face turned red, and Supreme Kai's sword remained motionless. Sun Gohan smiled unkindly, and said, I told you that I'm a little sinking. Say it, only then did Sun Gohan lift the Supreme Kai sword from Shin. Shin, who was nearly suffocated by the Supreme Kai sword, was saved. Master Supreme Kai, are you all right? Jebit hurriedly asked. Do you think I look okay? Shin cursed, he was indeed careless just now. He thought that the little Shen that Sun Gohan was talking about was really just Shao Shen, but in the end. The weight of the Supreme Kai sword is completely beyond his imagination. Looking at the Supreme Kai sword that was no different from a toy in Sun Gohan's hand, Dada couldn't help curling his lips. After learning about the terrifying weight of the Supreme Kai sword, Shin didn't have any thoughts about the sword for the time being. He continued the topic just now and asked, Mr. Sun Gohan, what secret is hidden in the Supreme Kai sword? JB also nodded. They were all curious about what Sun Gohan said was the secret hidden in Supreme Kai's sword. Sun Gohan didn't speak just clamped his index and middle fingers behind the edge of Supreme Kai's sword, and then exerted a little force under the watchful eyes of Shin and Jebit. Click, the Supreme Kai sword, which Shin and Jebit regarded as a divine sword, was given to them by Sun Gohan under their noses. Broken, at this moment, the pupils of Shin and Jebit widened, and their whole bodies were trembling. Kai, Supreme Kai sword. Dot was, broken. No, don't dare, can't believe it. Shin and Jebit scored twice, and once again lost the ability to manage expressions. The Supreme Kai sword was broken, the visual impact and spiritual shock caused to them made them petrified on the spot. This is. Dot the strongest sword, it's just like this. Gulu. The hearts of Shin and Jabiter could not calm down from the shock for a long time. The Supreme Kai sword can be broken, which is something they didn't expect. At first they thought that Sun Gohan's ability to pull out the Supreme Kai sword was already great, but it turned out that. Now the Supreme Kai sword is broken. Two idiots. Sun Gohan made a secret complaint. This is the strongest sword. Compared with my dragon god sword, it is nothing worth mentioning. This thing is just the sword that Beerus used to seal the old Supreme Kai. I don't know who passed it on so magically. It should be pulled out and shot for ten minutes. Kyla. Kyla. Just at this moment, a puff of smoke curled up from the break in Supreme Kai's sword. Under Shin and Jabiter's bewildered gazes, an old and crooked figure just appeared in their line of sight. Eighteen with his hands on his back, Sun Gohan said calmly, This is what I told you, the secret hidden in the sword of Supreme Kai. Ah, Shin blinked his eyes, and now he didn't care about the broken Supreme Kai sword. Instead, he looked at the old man who seemed to come out of the Supreme Kai sword. Shin looked the old man up and down carefully, and asked cautiously, This old gentleman, may I ask, who are you? Are you talking about me? The old Supreme Kai with a wretched face put his hands behind his back, pretending to be a master, and said, My name is Peter Toro, strictly speaking. I'm actually your Supreme Kai 15 generations ago, now you understand. Supreme Kai 10, 15 generations ago. Hearing this, Shin and Jebit directly scored a hat-trick, and were once again shocked beyond measure. One popped out of the Supreme Kai sword, the Supreme Kai before the 15th generation of Shin. So this is the secret hidden in the Supreme Kai sword that Sun Gohan said. Indeed, it was enough to scare them. Ahem. Seeing that Shin and Jabiter were taken aback, the old Supreme Kai coughed and continued to pretend. That is to say, a long time ago, I can't remember how many years ago, there was a person who was very bad, he out of fear of my divine power. Oh, the person you're talking about is gods of destruction Beerus, right? 
The old Supreme Kai couldn't stand the pretending son Gohan any longer, and directly threw Beerus's name out of the doctor. When he heard the name Gods of Destruction Beerus, the old Supreme Kai, who was still a tall man just now, shivered for no reason. Indeed, the name Gods of Destruction Beerus has a great psychological shadow on the old Supreme Kai. After all, the reason why he was sealed in the Supreme Kai sword for a full 75 million years was thanks to Toby Ruth. You kid, who are you? Old Supreme Kai glanced at Sun Gohan. Old, old ancestor, his name is Sun Gohan. Shin carefully introduced to the old Supreme Kai. Sun Gohan just defeated Majin Buu half a month ago. What? Hearing this, the old Supreme Kai was shocked. He looked at Sun Gohan suspiciously, and said half believingly, You little arms and legs, how can you beat Majin Buu? Who do you look down on? Sun Gohan rolled his eyes. For a small role like Majin Buu, we can handle it easily in minutes, okay. Still can't beat this, old man, don't forget, I let you out today, otherwise you can only spend your life in the sword of Supreme Kai. Sun Gohan did not forget to add. Ahem, the old Supreme Kai coughed tactically again, and said slowly, Well, I don't have anything to thank you for, why don't I give you the photos of beauties that I have treasured for many years? Finished. The old Supreme Kai got a bikini beauty photo magazine out of nowhere, and he is going to give it to Sun Gohan as a thank you gift. I pour, looking at the beauty photo magazine in the hands of the old Supreme Kai, Shin and Jabiter fainted on the spot. Dare to love your ancestors, you like these things. You'd better keep it to yourself. Sun Gohan also rolled his eyes and said with disgust. What's so good about this thing? Looking at this, I might as well go home and hold Bulma to see enough. Unexpectedly, the old Supreme Kai lost his temper and cursed angrily, this is a collection that I have treasured for many years. If you don't want it, I will keep it for myself. While talking, he didn't forget to turn a few pages, seeing all kinds of bikini beauties in the magazine made his nose bleed wildly. Seeing the wretched look of the old Supreme Kai, Ping and Jebet fainted again. Is this really my Supreme Kai 15 generations ago? Is the former king of the realm, Shendu, like this? Shin was thinking about this question seriously. Sun Gohan didn't even look at the wretched old Supreme Kai, you just sleep with your beauty magazine, I won't accompany you. Then, after saying goodbye to Shin, Sun Gohan returned to Earth with an unlimited instant transmission. Orange Star High School Sun Gohan just came back for the first class, and after the get out of class was over, he was called to the rooftop by Vital. With his hands on his hips, Vital asked, Gohan, where have you been for the past half month? It's, something happened, what's the matter? Sun Gohan scratched his head and found an excuse to prevaricate. Who knows, Vital suddenly changed the subject, and asked angrily, Wu, please answer me honestly, is that little girl named Sun Xiaoling your daughter? During Sun Gohan's absence for half a month, driven by curiosity, Vital investigated the relationship between Sun Gohan and Sun Xiaoling. It turned out that Vital was told that Sun Xiaoling was the daughter of Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan, who is only 17 years old this year, already has a 5-year-old daughter. After confirming that this was the truth of the matter, at that moment Vital felt that the sky was falling. What should come has finally come. Sun Gohan sighed secretly, then straightened his face, and replied seriously, Yes, that's right, Xiao Ling is my daughter. After being confirmed by Sun Gohan, Vital's face turned pale, and he took a few steps back on the spot. The delicate and lovely pretty face is full of disappointment, disbelief and fear. Gohan, you. A clear tear ran down Vital's cheek. She is unwilling to accept this fact. These days, although she and Sun Gohan haven't said it clearly, the two of them have gotten along like lovers, but no one has tried to pierce this thin layer of relationship window paper. Now that Sun Gohan has given birth to a daughter, Vital just felt a thunderbolt, and her sky seemed to be falling down. The person she loved turned out to be a father. Why? Dot why did you never tell me? Vital asked with tears in his eyes. If she had known that Sun Gohan was a father from the beginning, she would not have fallen so deep. What now? You didn't ask either. Sun Gohan spread his hands and said. Also, are you curious why I am only 17 years old this year and already have a 5-year-old daughter? Vital nodded blankly. Yes, this is indeed something she can't figure out. It stands to reason that Sun Gohan, 
who was 12 years old five years ago, could have given birth to a child with someone else. Sun Gohan explained. Actually, when I was five years old, I was already what I am now. I used the Dragon Ball to make a wish, and the wish made me grow up. No. Dot not like that. According to what Sun Gohan said, it means that Sun Xiaoling is really his biological daughter. Vital cried, unwilling to accept this fact. Hey. Sun Gohan sighed lightly, then stepped forward, patted Vital's fragrant shoulder lightly, and comforted him. Vital, I understand how you feel now, but I never lied to your feelings. What, what? Vital raised his head in a daze, and looked at Sun Gohan blankly. Sun Gohan said, I came here to study, but I came here because of you. You have a sense of justice, good looks, and understanding. You are a very good girl. Of course, I also know that you will definitely not be able to accept the fact that I already have a daughter, so let it be like this, I will not come to school again from tomorrow. Finished. Sun Gohan sighed softly, then got up and walked towards the stairwell. Looking at the back of Sun Gohan gradually going away, another voice appeared in Vital's heart. Some moment. Gohan. Vital finally mustered up his courage, rushed up quickly, and hugged Sun Gohan from behind. Don't go. Vital sobbed softly, his tone full of pleading. However, although, but Vital really couldn't let it go, and she couldn't be reconciled. In the past few days that she has known Sun Gohan, her heart has long belonged to Sun Gohan. When she thinks that she may not see Sun Gohan tomorrow, Vital's heart is suddenly empty. So there was another voice in her heart, the voice that saved Sun Gohan. Even, he is already a father. Vital, you are. I don't mind, I don't mind. Vital begged, Gohan, can you stay? Heard the words. Sun Gohan turned around, holding Vital's delicate and lovely face, and said softly, then leave the rest of the matter to me. After Vital was settled smoothly, Sun Gohan also secretly heaved a sigh of relief. Then it's just a matter of getting Bulma over there. But Bulma is the big problem. In the blink of an eye, another four years have passed. In the past four years, after Sun Gohan's constant dealings, Bulma finally accepted the existence of the main Dimension 18 and Vital. Anyway, this is not the first time, what can Bulma do? And even if there is another number 18 and Vital, her status is unshakable. IG August 18. A luxury cruise ship sails on the sea. Today is Bulma's 45th birthday, advertised 38th. In order to celebrate his birthday, Bulma held a grand birthday party, and everyone from the Earth Z fighters and the protagonist group were invited to attend. It is worth mentioning that two years ago, Vegeta and Bulma's sister Ties finally achieved a fruitful result after several years of long distance running. At the same time, Gods of Destruction Realm, Beerus Star. Gods of Destruction Beerus, who had been asleep for 39 years, finally woke up. Oh, it's really rare that Master Beerus has only slept on this foot for 39 years. Looking at the sleepy Beerus, Whis couldn't help but tease. Heard the words, Beerus yawned, and lazily said, is it only 39 years? No wonder I always feel that I haven't had enough sleep. According to Beerus's previous urine behavior, he basically slept for no less than 50 years. So Wiss asked, Master Beerus, what caused you to wake up this time after only sleeping for 39 years? I had a precognitive dream. Beerus put his right hand on the side of the will, and recalled, in the prophetic dream, a strong enemy of mine appeared, it seems to be called a super saiyan or something god. I can't remember much. Wiss, do you know? Super saiyan, what god? Wiss narrowed his eyes, and said contemptuously, Master Beerus, your words give me very little information. The only thing worth noting is probably Saiyan. Saiyan, Beerus rested his chin, thoughtfully, hasn't Saiyan been wiped out by Frieza? Yes, quote, Wiss nodded slightly, and then said, although planet Vegeta was destroyed by Frieza, Saiyan was not extinct, and there are still a few Saiyan fighters who survived. For example, Saiyan Prince Vegeta, and a man named Son Goku, he defeated Frieza. What? Beerus blinked in bewilderment, and said in disbelief, the Asians actually defeated Frieza. Boom, Wiss tapped the staff, and a light curtain refracted from the crystal ball at the top, and the reflected image was exactly the image of Son Goku transforming into Super Saiyan and defeating Frieza on Namek. Lord Beerus, as you can see, this Saiyan called Son Goku, 
who became the Golden Warrior Super Saiyan of Saiyan folklore, defeated Frieza. It really looks like it can beat Frieza. Staring at Son Goku in the picture, Beerus pondered, but you said it just now, this is Super Saiyan, there is no word for God. Think about it too. Based on his identity as gods of destruction than better Ruth, the opponent's name does not contain a word of God, so how could he be called his formidable enemy? That's exactly what happened. Wiss nodded. What the hell is it? The name is too long. Beerus withdrew his gaze, and returned his attention to the formidable enemy who had appeared in his precognitive dream. Prophecy Fish, are you being lazy? Since he couldn't remember, Beerus had to turn to his pet Prophecy Fish for help. Whoosh. As soon as Beerus finished speaking, a miniature staff with the tip staring at a fish tank bumped and fell down from above the palace. In the fish tank at the top of the staff is the Prophecy Fish. Master Beerus, you are awake, what can I do for you? Ask the prophecy fish. Beerus succinctly recounted his precognitive dream, and said, quickly help me think about it, what is the name of the enemy that appeared in my precognitive dream? What's it called? The prophecy fish pondered. Super, what god? Can't remember, forget it. Heard the words. Beerus narrowed his eyes slightly, whis, it is predicted that the fish should be fed three meals a day. How about changing it to two meals a day? It's a good idea. Wiss echoed in a very tacit understanding. The prophecy fish panicked suddenly, and a very clear name came to mind, and hurriedly said, I remembered, it's called Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God, it seems to be the name. After the prophetic fish said this, Beerus also remembered the exact name of the rival who appeared in his prophetic dream. Immediately, Beerus turned his head to look at Wiss, and asked, Wiss, where are the surviving Saiyans now? Wiss tapped the staff again, and a blue planet appeared in the refracted light curtain, Saiyan who survived now live on a planet called Earth. Quote, Master Beerus, do you want to go? Hey. Beerus stretched out his paws to pick his teeth, and a gleam flashed in his deep eyes, Wiss, let's go, I want to experience formidable opponent called Super Saiyan God. Since taking office as the seventh universe gods of destruction, Beerus has been lonely at the ceiling of the seventh universe's combat power for hundreds of millions of years. Therefore, Beerus is very eager for a master who can be called his own rival in the seventh universe to fight against him. Otherwise, this day would be too boring. Supreme Kaiji. Under the tree in front of the Supreme Kai Palace, the old Supreme Kai carried his hands on his back, looking up at the direction of the gods of destruction world with his old face full of vicissitudes. Just now, gods of destruction Beerus woke up. The old Supreme Kai and Shin both sensed it immediately. The Lord Gods of Destruction, awakened. The old Supreme Kai spoke in a daze, his tone full of fear towards Beerus. Old Ancestor, is Lord Gods of Destruction really scary? Shin asked ignorantly. Although he is the Supreme Kai of the Seventh Universe, Shin actually doesn't know much about Gods of Destruction. The old Supreme Kai explained in a deep tone, of course it's scary. In this universe, there are Supreme Kai who are responsible for creation, and Gods of Destruction who are responsible for destruction. Every time Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus wakes up, he will continue to destroy the planet uninterrupted until the next time he falls asleep. What the old Supreme Kai didn't tell Shin was that he was sealed in the Supreme Kai Sword, the masterpiece of Gods of Destruction Beerus. After listening, Shin turned pale with fright. Continuously destroying planets, this Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus, is a bit too scary. High ground, Old Supreme Kai's heavy expression changed again, because he noticed that Gods of Destruction Beerus had already started to move, and the direction of movement. Looks like it's headed straight for Earth. It's bad, Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus is going to Earth. The Old Supreme Kai slumped on the ground, his forehead already wet with cold sweat. Once Gods of Destruction Beerus descends on the Earth, it is foreseeable that the earth may be destroyed because of it. Earth, hearing that Beerus was going to the earth, Shin's expression suddenly changed. According to Sun Gohan's character, once Beerus comes to earth, it is impossible not to conflict with Sun Gohan. Old ancestor, shouldn't we inform Mr. Sun Gohan and the others in advance, and let them try not to anger Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus? Shin asked tremblingly. Snapped, the old Supreme Kai went down on the spot, cursing and cursing, nonsense, once Lord Beerus is angered, the consequences will be extremely dire. Earth may be destroyed by disaster. 
Gods of Destruction Beerus is not a character like Majin Buu, but he is the strongest god in this universe and also the most unpredictable god. Once Beerus is angered, it will be considered a success if the earth can leave a whole body. Listen, Shin didn't dare to neglect, and hurriedly Biba contacted Sun Gohan and others on earth. And at the same time, in the seventh universe space, a rainbow of seven colors swiftly passed by, traveling a distance of tens of millions of light years in the blink of an eye. Among the colorful Cheng Hong, it is the sixth universe gods of destruction Champa and Angel Vados. Some time ago, Champa accidentally learned about the super wishing beads. It is said that as long as seven super wishing beads are gathered together, super Shenron can be summoned and any wish can be realized. And these seven super wishing beads are distributed in the sixth and seventh universes. So, after finding several super wishing beads distributed in the sixth universe, Champa and Vados shifted their goal to the seventh universe. It's just that they searched for several months in the seventh universe, but they couldn't find any super wishing beads. Hey, Vados, does the seventh universe really have super wishing beads? Champa asked suspiciously. If it weren't for the Super Shenron summoned by collecting seven super wishing beads, Champa wouldn't be bothered to run so far. Question mark. Master Champa, looking for super wishing beads requires patience. Vados said slowly. There are more than billions of planets in a universe. It is not easy to find super wishing beads among such a large number of planets. Oh, Champa pouted, and said, I'm tired, let's find a place to rest, Vados. Looking for a place to rest. Vados turned his beautiful eyes, and suddenly asked, Master Champa, you should still remember Mr. Sun Gohan. Of course I remember that kid. Speaking of Sun Gohan, Champa thought of Sun Gohan's craftsmanship again, he licked his lips, speaking of which, it seems that I haven't tasted the food of Sun Gohan for a long time. Master Champa, would you like to have a taste? Vados asked. What, are we going back to the sixth universe now? Champa would like to think about it, but if he wants to go back to the sixth universe now, the journey is a bit too far away. After all, Vados does not have the instant transmission ability like Sun Gohan. So if they want to return from the seventh universe to the sixth universe, they still have to run. No no no, there is no need to return to the sixth universe. Vados smiled and said, Master Champa, let me tell you a secret that you don't know, Mr. Sun Gohan is actually from the seventh universe. What? Champa stared like a copper bell, and said in disbelief, isn't that kid from the sixth universe? Oh he he he, Lord Champa, I remember that neither I nor Mr. Sun Gohan said that he is from the sixth universe, right? Vados covered his mouth and smiled lightly, Master Champa, since we are here, why don't we visit Mr. Sun Gohan? By the way, we can also eat the food you have missed for many years. Vados is persuasive. Go, because why not? Although it was a bit unexpected that Sun Gohan was a member of the seventh universe, the news was really convenient for Champa at this time. Mr. Sun Gohan. Mr. Sun Gohan. On the deck of the cruise ship, the atmosphere was full of joy and harmony, and suddenly Supreme Kai's slightly panicked call came from the sky. Ha, huh, is this the voice of Lord Supreme Kai? Piccolo looked up curiously at the sky, and he recognized Sim's voice. It's Master Supreme Kai, is there something wrong? Sun Gohan, who was playing games with Sun Xiaoling, also looked up at the sky and asked a casual question. Sun Gohan, you must remember what I say next. Immediately afterwards, the old Supreme Kai's solemn voice came. Gods of Destruction Beerus has awakened, although he doesn't know the reason, but he is on his way to the earth now. Lord Beerus is a terrible god, you must not contradict him or provoke him, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous, maybe even the earth will be destroyed. Old Supreme Kai's tone was very serious, not at all joking. Is it finally here? The arrival of Beerus was basically expected by Sun Gohan. But, Master Supreme Kai, I already know, what should you do? Compared to the flustered old Supreme Kai and Shin, Sun Gohan has nothing to worry about. There is even a little expectation. I don't know if the system will reissue combat missions when Beerus descends on Earth. Over the past few years, although Sun Gohan's strength has also improved, the rate of improvement has always been small. He is now looking forward to the system continuing to release a combat mission, and rewarding him with a generous reward, so that his strength can take a qualitative leap again. 
The old Supreme Kai and Shin have been notified, and what will happen to the fate of the Earth will depend on Sun Gohan's performance. Dad, who is gods of destruction Beerus? Sun Xiaoling blinked her big eyes, and Shui Lingling's eyes were full of curiosity. Sun Gohan explained concisely. Well, probably the most powerful and highest ranking god in the universe, but don't be afraid, he can't beat Dad. Dad, you can blow it hard, you are so powerful. Why do I not believe it? Sun Xiaoling expressed her doubts unabashedly. You naughty boy, don't you believe what Dad says? Sun Gohan couldn't help pinching Sun Xiaoling's cheek, and said angrily. I don't believe it. Sun Xiaoling made a grimace and said, I don't believe a single punctuation mark in Dad's words. Who taught you this? Sun Gohan fainted for a while. Why does he feel that Sun Xiaoling's education is getting more and more biased? Sun Xiaoling said confidently, Didn't you teach me dad? I'm going to play with Uncle Godin, goodbye dad. Say it. Sun Xiaoling stuck out her tongue playfully at Sun Gohan again, and then disappeared in a flash. Almost gave Sun Gohan a heart attack. This girl was quite obedient when she was young, why did she become more naughty as she got older? If things go on like this, she might enter the rebellious stage in a few years. This scene also made Bulma laugh for a while. Gohan. Bulma came up with a glass of red wine and asked, Are you okay? That gods of destruction Beerus. Sun Gohan smiled lightly, It's okay, don't worry. As long as he is here, Beerus can't afford to make waves. At the same time, on the railing of the deck, gods of destruction Beerus. Vegeta murmured, repeating the name over and over again. Why does this name sound so familiar? Vegeta can be sure that he must have heard of this name somewhere, or seen this person, but he couldn't remember it for a while. Vegeta, I haven't seen you for many years, don't worry about it. At this moment, a strange voice sounded from the ear. Vegeta's thoughts were instantly pulled back. He followed the source of the sound and looked to the right, only to see two strange figures appeared on his right. One of them is a tall and thin purple Conus Rakes cat, wearing an Anubis-style costume, staring at him with a pair of seemingly lazy but extremely sharp eyes. This person is the gods of destruction Beerus who rushed over from the Beerus star. And besides Beerus, there is no one else besides Angel Wiss. You, staring at Beerus in front of him, Vegeta felt an unprecedented pressure. That feeling, like being pressed against his chest by a mountain, made Vegeta's breathing become a little short. Don't remember me. There was a playful look in Beerus's eyes, and he reminded, We met each other when you were young, in your father's palace. This moment, a memory from more than thirty years ago suddenly came to my mind. Vegeta remembered, he did meet Beerus. At that time, planet Vegeta had not been destroyed by Frieza. Gods of destruction Beerus once came to King Vegeta's palace once. At that time, his father, King Vegeta, was stepped on by Beerus without dignity like a dog. When the shadows from childhood resurfaced in Vegeta's mind, the scene of that year kept flashing in Vegeta's mind as if it happened yesterday. It turned out to be you. Vegeta, who was always proud of himself, was completely flustered at this moment. He stepped back a few steps, and sat down on the ground with his buttocks slumped. Due to the high tension of his body and mind, his forehead was already covered with beads of sweat. Beerus squatted down, playing with taste. Vegeta, I thought you would have fun with me when you grow up, but now it seems that you have let me down. Vegeta, what are you still doing here? At this moment, Taisy came over and happened to see this scene. Hey, Vegeta, why are you sitting on the ground? Who are they? Taisy asked. Wiss replied. Hello, beautiful lady, my name is Wiss, this is my master Beerus, we are friends of Mr. Vegeta. So it's Vegeta's friend, Taisy suddenly realized, and then warmly invited. Since you are friends of Vegeta, you are very welcome to come to my sister's birthday party. Mr. Beerus, Mr. Wiss, clear this way. Beerus glanced at Vegeta again, ignored him, and followed Taisy to the deck. After Beerus and Wiss followed Taisy away, Son Goku who had been watching the situation just now came up and helped Vegeta up. Vegeta, are you okay? Fine, Vegeta shook off Son Goku's hand, and said solemnly, Kakarot, that tall, thin purple guy is gods of destruction Beerus. Chapter 91 With the arrival of Beerus, the attention of everyone on the deck fell on him. 
After all, the old Supreme Kai just said that the gods of destruction Beerus is a terrible god, and you must never contradict or anger him. But Beerus was not polite at all, he was deeply attracted by the food here. For ten hours, I didn't even think about what I came here for. This gods of destruction Beerus, doesn't look so scary at least for now. Looking at Beerus enjoying the skewers not far away, Bulma said. It's not that scary, it's just. Sun Gohan hesitated to speak. What? Bulma looked at Sun Gohan curiously. No. Nothing. Sun Gohan waved his hand. He thought was just a sand sculpture. Beerus is a man, as long as you get to know him well, you will find that this is a sand sculpture. Of course, when Beerus should be scary, he's pretty scary. Open black lens bracket ding, close black lens bracket. Just at this moment, the long lost system prompt sounded in Sun Gohan's mind. It is detected that Gods of Destruction Beerus has descended on the Earth, and the combat mission is triggered. Close black lens bracket. Defeat Gods of Destruction Beerus, task completion reward, potential limitation opens Lee. Close black lens bracket. Ha, huh, is it finally here? Sun Gohan raised his eyebrows, it was exactly what he thought. As soon as Beerus came, the system issued a combat mission. But what is this potential limit opener? If it is the same as Sun Gohan understands, then this so-called potential limit opener is probably equivalent to the effect of opening up Ren Du's two veins in martial arts. If this is the case, then I am afraid that my own strength will usher in a period of rapid growth. Hey hey, Sun Gohan rubbed his hands, he couldn't wait to have a real manly fight with Beerus. The strongest gods of destruction Beerus, Sun Gohan has long wanted to experience it. The gods of destruction he had fought against, such as Champa and Vermut, were not that strong, at least not comparable to Beerus. This moment, Beerus, who has already tasted almost all the delicacies here, finally remembered the purpose of his trip to Earth. He turned around suddenly, glanced at everyone present, and his imposing voice rang in everyone's ears, first of all, thank you for your hospitality, the food here is delicious, and secondly, I came here today to find one. A man called Super Saiyan God. The words fell. His eyes swept over Vegeta, Son Goku and Son Gohan in turn. Super Saiyan God, when Beerus said this, everyone was dumbfounded. Super Saiyan they do know that Son Gohan, Son Goku and Vegeta can all transform into Super Saiyan, but they don't know very well if you want to add a word, God, after Super Saiyan. Seeing everyone's confused faces, Beerus looked directly at Vegeta, who looked nervous, Vegeta, you are the Prince of Saiyan, you should know about Super Saiyan God. Vegeta shook his head, and said cautiously, if you want to ask Super Saiyan, I know, Super Saiyan God. I don't know. Yes, Beerus is the world. Son Goku echoed. I, Vegeta and Gohan can all become Super Saiyan, but Super Saiyan God, this is the first time I've heard of this name. Is that so? Beerus narrowed his eyes dangerously, since we can't find the super evil God. Master Beerus, I heard that you were looking for Super Saiyan God. Just then, a voice from the crowd interrupted Beerus. Everyone looked along the source of the sound, only to see Sun Gohan walking out from the crowd. Gohan, Bulma, Sun Goku and others were all startled, looking at Sun Gohan with doubts. Could it be that Sun Gohan knows that Super Saiyan God is not possible? Beerus also raised his eyebrows, and asked with interest, You know Super Saiyan God? Sun Gohan smiled slightly, of course I know, because I am Super Saiyan God. As soon as the words came out, the audience was in an uproar. Sun Gohan is actually the Super Saiyan God that Beerus said. How is this possible? Vegeta expressed his doubts. Even he, a Saiyan prince born and raised on planet Vegeta, has never heard of Super Saiyan God, why is Sun Gohan Super Saiyan God? Oh, Beerus's interest was completely aroused, he said but looking at you, you don't look like a god at all, and the Super Saiyan God who appeared in my precognitive dream is not like you either. Although Beerus doesn't remember very clearly, but he foresees the shadow of Super Saiyan God in his dream, Beerus still has a little impression. That is because, Beerus smiled confidently, and then his mind moved. Boom, jet-style red energy flames exploded straight from Sun Gohan's body. His black hair and deep black pupils also turned crimson at this moment following the red energy flames. It was also the moment when Sun Gohan transformed into a Super Saiyan, his figure became significantly thinner. 
and the breath has become no longer perceivable. It is indeed the breath of God. Wiss was slightly surprised. The corners of Beerus's mouth twitched slightly. Yes. Not to mention other things, just judging from Sun Gohan's aura, he is definitely the god of Super Saiyans. Gohan's aura. Can't feel it. Piccolo stared at Sun Gohan in Super Saiyan form with a look of surprise, and said in disbelief. Before Sun Gohan's transformation, he could still perceive Sun Gohan's aura, but as Sun Gohan transformed into a Super Sailor God form, Sun Gohan's aura disappeared. All he could feel was the 3.1 huge sense of oppression emanating from Sun Gohan. Sun Goku and Vegeta were also shocked. How do they not know that Sun Gohan can still transform like this? And this transformation, in the eyes of Sun Goku and Vegeta, does have the breath of a god. This transformation, so handsome. Different from other people's focus, number 18, Vital and Bulma's focus is on the appearance of Sun Gohan's super race god transformation. Not to mention, Sun Gohan is already handsome, and this Super Saiyan transformation is undoubtedly even more handsome, and it also adds a bit of domineering. After transforming into Super Saiyan God, Sun Gohan explained, Master Beerus, Super Saiyan God, actually does not refer to a specific person, but a transformation of Saiyan, Super Saiyan God transformation. In other words, I can be Super Saiyan God, my father's son Goku can be Super Saiyan God, and even Vegeta can be Super Saiyan God. I see. After Son Gohan's explanation, Beerus understood. The Super Saiyan God who dared to appear in his prophetic dream is just a means of transformation for Saiyan. But it doesn't matter, since in the prophetic dream, Super Saiyan God can become his formidable enemy, then he shouldn't be disappointed. Next second. Sun Gohan and Beerus soared into the sky at the same time, and the air was instantly filled with a strong smell of gunpowder. Beerus hooked his fingers towards Sun Gohan, and said enthusiastically, Come on, let me experience how strong this so-called Super Saiyan God is. Sun Gohan immediately put on a fighting stance and said with high spirits, Since Master Beerus is so interested, let's warm up first. Warm up. The corner of Beerus' mouth twitched slightly. 18. Interesting. According to the meaning of Sun Gohan's words, to dare to love this Super Saiyan God is not his full strength. Immediately, accompanied by a whoosh sound, Sun Gohan's figure leapt forward like lightning, and the diary punched Beerus head on. Snapped, Beerus extended an index finger and easily blocked Sun Gohan's straight frontal punch. Whoosh, one blow was blocked, Sun Gohan continued to launch a stormy attack towards Beerus without a moment's pause. From the beginning to the end, Beerus kept one hand behind his back, diffusing all of Sun Gohan's attacks with just one index finger. Deck. All eyes are on Sun Gohan versus Beerus, except Whis. Super Saiyan God. Looking at Sun Gohan, the super race god who was in a fierce battle with Beerus, Vegeta's eyes were full of unwillingness and yearning. Super Saiyan God. What a powerful figure, he can fight against gods of destruction Beerus for 300 rounds without losing the wind. Although Beerus is not serious, it is enough to prove the strength of Super Saiyan God. If he can also transform into Super Saiyan God, Vegeta has absolute self-confidence, his strength will get a qualitative leap. What a mighty battle! Piccolo was also shocked by the fight between Sun Gohan and Beerus. This is the first time he has seen a battle of this level. The battle between these two people, even if it is just a little aftermath of the battle, is enough to seriously injure him, or even kill him. Is this the real strength of Gohan? It's really too strong. Keelan was shocked and said, that gods of destruction Beerus is also very strong, Gohan's attack seems to have no effect on him at all. Yes, Sun Goku had a look of excitement on his face, and said, although this battle is fierce, it can be seen that Gohan's attack has no effect at all, Master Beerus has not really counterattacked yet. Yes, from the beginning of this battle until now, Beerus has only been in a defensive posture, and has not made any counterattacks. And once Beerus strikes back, people like Sun Goku and Piccolo have a hunch that it will be thunderous. Whether it is Sun Gohan or Gods of Destruction Beerus, the power of the two of them is no longer in the same dimension as them. That's right, you are the most powerful person I've encountered over the years, but if you rely on this strength alone, you won't be able to become my formidable enemy. Beerus once again received Sun Gohan's attack with one finger, and then his figure flashed. Teleported behind Sun Gohan, 
He raised the knife in one hand and slammed it down on the back of Sun Gohan's neck. Next breath. With the sound of breaking wind, Beerus's knife slid past the edge of Sun Gohan's neck just like that. What? Can this knife be empty? Beerus was shocked. When he took a closer look, he suddenly discovered that Sun Gohan had lowered his head, just avoiding the attack range of his knife. Also at the moment of avoiding the knife in Beerus's hand, Sun Gohan made a volley on the spot and kicked Diary's whip leg towards the back. But Beerus isn't vegetarian either. He stretched out his arm to block, and at the same time as he removed Sun Gohan's whip kick, an elbow with terrifying power rushed forward. On the nick of time, Sun Gohan quickly stopped his move, grabbed Beerus's elbow with both hands and made an inertial relief, and then hit Beerus's abdomen with a whip kick. Boom! Suffering this blow, Beerus stomped and retreated violently. He stabilized his figure, and when Sun Gohan attacked again, he took the initiative to bully him. Fight together again with Sun Gohan. Oops. Deck. Whis, who was eating kebabs and watching the battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus, opened his mouth slightly, showing a look of surprise. He actually saw the shadow of Ultra Instinct in Sun Gohan. Could it be that he was wrong? No. After observing for a while again, Whis can basically be sure. Sun Gohan definitely knows the Ultra Instinct, and the accuracy is not low. Otherwise, it would be impossible to avoid the fierce and tricky attacks from Beerus frequently. As the battle progressed, under the blessing of Ultra Instinct, Beerus could only be in a passive situation, and his counterattack didn't even touch the hem of Sun Gohan's clothes. Although being attacked by Sun Gohan one after another, Beerus didn't show any injuries, but he was a little embarrassed. I underestimated you. After being punched by Sun Gohan, the interest in Beerus's eyes became even more intense. I didn't expect that you would still be Ultra Instinct, it seems that I need to be serious. No wonder Beerus wondered how Sun Gohan seemed to see through his attack. It turned out to be because of Ultra Instinct. Then. Beerus then kicked in. Even though Sun Gohan has the blessing of Ultra Instinct, even the Ultra Instinct has lost its effect under the premise that the difference in strength is too large. Beerus sounded the horn to fight back. For a while, Sun Gohan lost the wind and was attacked by Beerus one after another. The hearts of Bulma, 18 and Vital on the deck were beating wildly. Not good, it seems like I'm going to lose. No 18's delicate and pretty face was full of worry. Seeing Sun Gohan being beaten continuously, number 18 felt distressed. Gohan, Vital clenched his hands tightly, and his body and mind tensed up. Although Sun Gohan's performance just now was very good, it seems that the guy named Beerus has not been serious from the beginning, and the strengths of the two sides are not at the same level at all. Sun Xiaoling on the side was waving her little pink fist, come on, dad, beat that purple cat monster uncle. At the same time, outside the earth, there are two pairs of eyes watching the battle between Sun Goku and Beerus. It was Vados and Champa who were going to visit Sun Gohan. In the light curtain, Beerus is desperately suppressing Sun Gohan in Super Saiyan form. Champa gritted his teeth with anger on his face. What is Sun Gohan doing? Hurry up and show your true strength, and kill Beerus, a skinny monkey. Champa, who once lost to Sun Gohan, knows better than anyone. Super Saiyan form is not Sun Gohan's true strength at all. He just couldn't figure it out. Why did Sun Gohan start with Super Blue when he was fighting with himself, and why he only used Super Saiyan when he was fighting with Beerus? Why don't you just put it on your health? Master Champa, don't worry, it's just a warm-up, the real battle will start soon. There was a slight confident arc on the corner of Vado's mouth. Now, neither Sun Gohan nor Beerus has shown their true strength. The battle that is being staged now is just a warm-up exercise before the two enter the fierce battle. The interior of the earth. Seeing Sun Gohan being suppressed, not only the three of Bulma, but also Piccolo and others panicked. Isn't even Sun Gohan a match for Beerus? The strength of Beerus has already surpassed their daughter-in-law. It's not good to go on like this. Piccolo said with a worried face. Gohan, you have to find a way to fight back. Tian Shinhan expressed his opinion. Unless Gohan has not shown his true strength, otherwise, I am afraid it will be difficult. Yes, now that Beerus has shown the absolute strength to completely crush Sun Gohan, if Sun Gohan does not show stronger strength, there is absolutely no way to fight back against Beerus. Don't worry. On the contrary, 
Son Goku is calm and straight to the point. Although Gohan has been suppressed, it can be seen that Gohan is not serious yet. He is hiding his power, or he is adapting to Master Beerus's attack style. Impossible. Vegeta shook his head and said, It is impossible for anyone to win the Gods of Destruction Beerus. You don't even understand the horror of Gods of Destruction Beerus. Yes, Son Gohan's strength is indeed very strong, and he is still hiding his strength so far. But, based on Vegeta's understanding of Gods of Destruction Beerus, there is no one in this world who can defeat Gods of Destruction Beerus. Not even if this person is Son Gohan. Because the name Beerus, represents real strength. Maybe, Son Goku said, but Gohan will not be defeated like this, we will wait and see. However, Son Goku still maintains a high degree of confidence in Son Gohan. His son, he knows better than anyone. As long as Son Gohan unleashes his potential, even if the opponent is Gods of Destruction Beerus, he can definitely wrestle with him. In the sky, Beerus's suppression of Son Gohan continues. All of a sudden, Beerus grabbed a gap from Son Gohan again, and a straight punch went straight to Son Gohan's face. Snapped, Son Gohan, who was in a state full of flaws, suddenly stretched out his hand and firmly caught Beerus's heavy punch. How? Beerus frowned. The corner of Son Gohan's mouth raised slightly, Master Beerus, as I said just now, it was just a warm-up exercise, and the real battle begins now. Boom. The moment Son Gohan finished speaking, bright blue energy flames erupted from his body, and the red hair and eyes in the original Super Saiyan form also turned blue. Son Gohan's power has increased dozens of times again at this moment. Blue, Beerus frowned, Son Gohan has transformed again. His strength has increased by more than 5,000 times compared to before. Only, the more power Son Gohan showed, the more excited Beerus was. If Son Gohan was only at the level just now, it would be too boring. At the level just now, he can't be called Beerus's rival at all, at least he is a little bit decent now. It turned blue. On the deck, Piccolo exclaimed for the first time. What Son Goku said just now is correct, Son Gohan also hides his strength, since Son Gohan transformed into blue, the oppressive feeling emanating from him is dozens of times stronger than the Super Saiyan form just now. What a powerful sense of oppression. Keelan was so shocked that he tremblingly said, Gohan is so aggressive. Blue, blue, what kind of transformation is this? Vegeta stared at Chowlin's son Gohan with his eyes wide open, and his heart was already filled with shock. How could son Gohan have so many stronger transformations? This caused an extreme imbalance in Vegeta's heart. Why can son Gohan change, but Vegeta can't? It should be a transformation on top of Super Saiyan God. Son Goku said excitedly. My intuition tells me that this is not Gohan's strongest area. Quote dot quote. What did you say? As soon as Son Goku said this, Vegeta, Piccolo and others looked at Son Goku one after another, with a deep shock in their eyes. Now this blue transformation is actually not the strongest transformation of Son Gohan. But Son Goku is just a guess after all, in the eyes of Piccolo and others, the current Son Gohan is already too strong, they can't even imagine what Son Gohan's next transformation will look like. How is this possible? Vegeta's pupils trembled slightly, if Son Gohan had another stronger transformation, then he really couldn't accept it. This is so overwhelming. Hey, is Gohan very good now? Asked Bulma who knew nothing about power. She looked at the reactions of Son Goku and others, and it seemed that Son Gohan is very strong now. Well, very strong. No 18's beautiful face was full of excitement. The power of Son Gohan has far exceeded her imagination. This is undoubtedly good news for No. 18. After all, no one doesn't like strong people, especially for open hollow lens bracket good district Shibali as a cyborg. At the same time, in the sky, after transforming into super blue, Sun Gohan grabs Beerus's hand and pulls it suddenly, the huge inertia makes Beerus be caught off guard and give up on Sun Gohan. Boom, a heavy muffled sound passed into everyone's ears. Then everyone could see that Sun Gohan punched Beerus's lower abdomen heavily, and the terrifying force directly penetrated Beerus's body, forming a blue energy emperor shock wave that pierced through his back. Puff, this punch directly caused Beerus's pupils to protrude a bit. Very well, that's it, give me Wolfland Beerus Wenyan. Beyond the earth, Champa waved his paws, his expression as excited as he wanted. For Champa, 
seeing Beerus being beaten is more enjoyable than beating Beerus himself. Sun Gohan, come on, keep hit him. The second round begins. The battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus is heating up. Today, Sun Gohan's normal combat effectiveness, coupled with the increase of the increase of the increase in the super blue Sun Gohan power is enough to match the conventional power. Therefore, even Beerus has to be prepared at this moment. Bang bang bang. The aftermath of extremely terrifying battles shook the sky of the earth continuously, shocking the visual nerves of everyone on the deck. Watching the thrilling and fierce battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus, the hearts of Sun Goku and others also rose. Compared with this battle, their previous battles were like playing house. It is not a battle in one dimension at all. As the battle progressed, Beerus's fighting spirit was also fully inspired by Sun Gohan. Beerus can't remember exactly how many years, he has never met such a strong opponent as Sun Gohan. For a while, Sun Gohan and Beerus fought back and forth, and the fight was evenly matched. Boom, Sun Gohan and Beerus had another hard fist fight. Blue and purple black shock waves rippled out like ripples, and the surrounding space was violently vibrating. The seas below were already rough, setting off monstrous waves. Even the largest cruise ship in the world was like a solitary boat in the rough seas, as if the ship would be destroyed at any time. Sun Gohan and Beerus hit it off. Beerus retreated hundreds of meters, then flicked his fingers, and a purple spinning ball flew out. The seemingly inconspicuous purple light spinning ball like a firefly contains an incomparable terrifying energy. Destroy, Sun Gohan reached out with one hand and detonated Beerus's purple spinner. What? Sun Gohan's sabotage once again surprised Beerus. This is, gods of destruction move. How many gods does this kid know? It seems that he has underestimated Sun Gohan from the very beginning. The corner of Beerus' mouth raised slightly, this battle is getting more and more interesting. Whoosh, after detonating Beerus's purple light spin ball, Sun Gohan fired with his fingers and started the prince's tactics. Dense air bombs enveloped Beerus like raindrops. Beerus also stretched out a paw, directly locked the space in front of him, and then said two words lightly, destroy. Boom boom boom. As Beerus's voice Biffy fell, Sun Gohan sent out countless air bombs, all of which were detonated in the middle. Call out. Just as Beerus finished all this, Sun Gohan's figure appeared behind him like a ghost, kicking his left whip and sprang towards Beerus's neck involuntarily. Beerus blocked his arm, turned around quickly, stretched out his claws, and stuck to Sun Gohan's chest. The corner of Beerus's mouth lifted, and a purple ball of light quickly formed, and then... Boom! The purple light spinning ball produced a violent energy explosion, which swallowed Sun Gohan in an instant. Gohan, seeing this scene, the beautiful eyes of Bulma, number 18 and Vital shrank suddenly. Sun Goku, Piccolo and others also tensed their nerves. Even though they were far apart, they could still clearly feel how terrifying the energy impact produced by the explosion of Beerus's purple spinning ball was. Not to mention Sun Gohan who bears the brunt of zero distance. Even Sun Gohan in the super blue form, I am afraid it is a bit too much. However, just when everyone on the deck was worried and Beerus hadn't had time to be happy, a fist was blasted out of the flames and hit Beerus's face firmly. Then, everyone on the deck could see that the unscathed Sun Gohan swept out of the fire with a bright blue energy flame, and chased after Beerus. See this scene, Piccolo and the others couldn't help but gasped. He suffered such a strong energy explosion from the front, but he was unharmed. While Piccolo and others were shocked, Beerus, who had been punched by Sun Gohan in midair, quickly adjusted and fought with Sun Gohan again in a needlepoint posture. Due to the fierce battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus, the whole sky gradually became dark. Between heaven and earth, the wind is surging. The sea below was also restlessly turbulent. Soon, the battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus went from the inside of the earth to the stratosphere, and from the stratosphere to the sea. This fierce battle between the two is simply a visual feast for Sun Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo and others. The two fought fiercely for half an hour, but they still couldn't tell the difference. The situation began to stalemate. Being ultra instinct and ultra instinct at the same time, this Sun Gohan is not easy. At this time, Whis, who had already eaten and drank enough, also commented. Ultra instinct, extreme intentionality. Hearing this, Sun Goku and the others looked at Whis with puzzled expressions. Whis explained. 
Simply put, Ultra Instinct is Gods of Destruction's move, and Ultra Instinct is Angel's move, but Sun Gohan has both Gods of Destruction and Angel's God's defense skills. It's not hard to guess that he must have practiced with an angel. I remembered. At this time, Bulma suddenly said, Shortly after returning from Namek, Gohan told me that he was going to learn art from a teacher, and he went there for more than two years. Could it be that time? So that's the case, then it should be that time. Whis said, it took only two years to learn Ultra Instinct and Ultimate Instinct, Mr. Sun Gohan's talent and insight, it is not difficult to see that he is very good. Whis gave a very high rating. However, what Whis didn't know was that it took Sun Gohan only one month to learn these two gods' control skills, more than 20 times faster than he imagined. Mr. Whis, are Ultra Instinct and Ultimate Instinct very powerful? Sun Goku asked. Of course, Whis stretched out a finger, one is gods of destruction's moves, the other is angel's moves, of course they are powerful, especially Ultra Instinct, even Master Beerus didn't fully learn it, but Mr. Sun Gohan has learned it. Death. After what was said, Vegeta, Piccolo and others breathed a sigh of relief. Even Beerus couldn't learn the god's control skill, but Sun Gohan learned it. Sun Goku said proudly, Gohan's potential and talent are the strongest, and I firmly believe in this from beginning to end. As early as when Raditz attacked that year, when Sun Gohan suddenly erupted, Sun Goku could see that there was a huge potential hidden in the body of his eldest son. As long as this potential is released, Sun Gohan will not be weaker than anyone. At this time, the battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus suddenly stopped. The two stood in the air, looking at each other. The smell of gunpowder in the air has not weakened in the slightest. At this time, Beerus looked excited, full of fighting spirit. Sun Gohan, there is no winner if this goes on, I know this should not be your full strength, use your full strength, we will win. Since Lord Beerus is so interested, I'd rather be obedient than respectful. While speaking, Sun Gohan's arms have been lowered, and the super blue form has also been released, returning to the normal state. Sun Gohan's body and mind are now in a state of complete relaxation. But the air between the heaven and the earth is not so calm, and there is a faint sense of oppression that the mountain rain is about to come and the wind is full of the building. How did Gohan change back? What is he doing? Kei Lin looked puzzled. How can I play well and suddenly return to normal? Goku is right, the Super Saiyan blue color just now is not Gohan's true strength, and he will display his true strength next. Piccolo frowned and his face was serious. But in the depths of his eyes, there is a passion that cannot be concealed. Even Super Blue is not the true strength of Sun Gohan, so how strong will the next transformation be? Piccolo can no longer imagine. Not to mention Sun Gohan's next transformation, just Super Saiyan and Super Blue, are already beyond his cognition. It seems that Sun Gohan has not neglected his martial arts all these years, he has been getting stronger. It's just that they don't know much about it. A stronger transformation. Vegeta's eyes were red staring at the figure of Sun Gohan in the sky. Although he had already been mentally prepared, Vegeta still had a hard time accepting it when he saw that Sun Gohan was preparing for a stronger transformation. Where is the limit of this guy's strength? Could it be that his power has already surpassed gods of destruction Beerus? Sun Goku, Bulma and others didn't speak, they just stared at Sun Gohan's back, with a look of expectation in their eyes. Hum, I have a bad feeling. Wiss rubbed his cheek, feeling a little uneasy, or rather uneasy for Beerus. Sun Gohan's Super Blue just now can already match Beerus under normal strength. If he makes a stronger transformation next time, then even Beerus. I'm afraid it will be difficult to deal with it. It's coming, it's coming. Beyond the Earth, Champa's eyes were bright and his expression was excited. Exactly the same, exactly the same as when Sun Gohan hanged him. He couldn't wait to see Beerus being abused. If it's just that, I'm afraid it won't be that easy. Vados narrowed his eyes slightly. What Vados said, is naturally the beast form. Sun Gohan wants to defeat Beerus, the strongest gods of destruction, with his beast form, I'm afraid it won't be so easy, unless. It's beast form too. Drink. Under everyone's gaze, Sun Gohan clenched his fists tightly, followed by a thunderous shout resounding. Rumble. F.E. No, the entire earth shook violently at this moment. On the sea level directly below Sun Gohan, a huge vortex has appeared. 
The huge vortex is like a black hole, as if it can swallow everything in the world. Crackling. In the sky, red thunderbolts danced among the thunderclouds, making the atmosphere between heaven and earth more depressing. Immediately afterwards, under everyone's gaze, purple-silver energy flames with red lightning erupted from Sun Gohan's body like a volcanic eruption. It was also at this moment that Sun Gohan's original short, broken hair turned into tall silver long hair, with a handful of silver bangs hanging down to his forehead. His black pupils also turned vermilion at this moment. Coupled with Sun Gohan's height of 1.8 meters, strong tendons visible to the naked eye, and the purple-silver energy arrogance wrapped around his body, it makes Sun Gohan look extremely domineering and handsome at this time. The transformation is complete. Sun Gohan glanced at the eagle-like red pupils and said, Master Beerus, I call this transformation beast form. Beast form. As Sun Gohan transformed into the beast form, Beerus's face became completely serious, it is undeniable that you are very strong now, and you are fully qualified to be my strong enemy. Your strength has completely exceeded my expectations. I didn't expect the Saiyans to be so strong. Beerus is also not stingy, giving a very high rating. Even if he is as proud as Beerus, he has to admit that the current Sun Gohan already deserves his attention. From Sun Gohan, Beerus already sensed a dangerous aura. If he doesn't show his real strength, I'm afraid he will capsize in the gutter on Sun Gohan today. Beast Form On the deck, Kaylin was shocked. What a powerful figure, Gohan's aura is so strong that it's like an evil spirit pressing on his chest. Yes, after switching to the Beast Form, Sun Gohan's imperceptible aura became perceptible again. Now Sun Goku and others on the deck can feel how terrifying Sun Gohan's chi is at this moment. Just like the vast universe, there is no limit. Piccolo's pupils constricted and his mind was shaken. Sun Gohan's aura in beast form, to them, is like a mountain whose top cannot be seen, and they can't perceive the limit at all. Beast form. Vegeta stared at Sun Gohan, although there was no change on his face, but there was already a storm in his heart. Sun Gohan's aura that was so powerful that it seemed limitless, coupled with Beerus's extremely high evaluation, it was not difficult for Vegeta to guess that Sun Gohan's strength at this moment might not be weaker than gods of destruction Beerus. He couldn't even imagine how Sun Gohan cultivated, and in just a dozen years, he grew to a height comparable to gods of destruction Beerus. Also Saiyan, why are you so good? What's more, Sun Gohan is just a mixed Saiyan, and Vegeta is a Saiyan prince with Saiyan royal blood, a genius fighter. But his current strength is like Oda in front of Sun Gohan. There is no comparison at all. Gohan, so handsome. The three daughters of Bulma also looked excited. I have to say that Sun Gohan in beast form is much more handsome than Super Saiyan. And the name beast form is also very poignant to them. Beauty and the Beast. Daddy is so handsome. On the top deck, Sun Xiaoling gazed at Sun Gohan with admiration. Although she just said that she didn't believe that Sun Gohan could match Beerus, but when the fight really started, Xiaoling was definitely on her father's side. At the same time, the purple-black destructive energy has covered Beerus's whole body, and Beerus at this moment looks extraordinarily terrifying and chilling. Yes, facing Sun Gohan in beast form, Beerus also had to be serious. If he continued to use conventional strength, he might not have much power to fight back in front of the beast Gohan. Therefore, for the first time in billions of years, Beerus used the power of gods of destruction when fighting against humans. Come on, Sun Gohan. Beerus narrowed his eyes dangerously, and said, If you lose today, I will destroy the earth. What if I win? Sun Gohan asked back. With Sun Gohan's strength, he is absolutely qualified to negotiate terms with Beerus. I lose, you destroy the earth, you can. But if I win, you must pay any price. What do you want? asked Beerus. Obviously, Beerus also knows that Sun Gohan is qualified to negotiate terms with him. It's very simple. Sun Gohan smiled lightly, and said, Within your ability, agree to my request unconditionally, how about it, no matter how you look at it, I will suffer. Sun Gohan is right. After all, I am playing with you with billions of lives on the entire planet. If you lose, you agree to my request unconditionally. No matter how you look at it, I will suffer. Your ambition is not great at all. Bai Ruth said with great interest. No problem, as long as you win, I can accept it. Originally, 
Beerus thought that Sun Gohan would open his mouth and let him give up the position of gods of destruction. Now it seems that Sun Gohan is not interested in the position of gods of destruction at all. Then come on. Reaching a consensus, Sun Gohan stopped writing, and once again put on a fighting stance, ready to fight Beerus at any time. Beerus also put on a stance, confronting Sun Gohan head to head. Instantly, the smell of gunpowder in the air became stronger again. Some moment, accompanied by a gust of wind, Sun Gohan and Beerus moved and attacked each other. In the blink of an eye, Sun Gohan was on hand with Beerus. Bang bang bang. Every collision between Sun Gohan and Beerus shocked the eyes of Sun Goku and others on the deck. Even though they are far apart, they can still feel the intensity of this battle. The battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus, just a little aftermath of the battle may be enough to wipe out all of them. Sun Gohan and Beerus fought so fast that Sun Goku and Vegeta and others couldn't see clearly. They still used the projection of Wiss Angel staff to barely see the details of the battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus. Beyond the Earth, Champa also held his breath. Even Champa was shocked by the shocking battle between Sun Gohan and Beerus. If Sun Gohan's opponent had been him today, he would have been defeated long ago, but right now, Beerus has not shown any signs of fatigue, and instead is getting more courageous. From this alone, we can see the strength gap between Champa and Beerus. Beerus and Champa don't need to fight, just look at their size to know which one is stronger. Call out. After fighting for millions of rounds, Beerus suddenly soared to a height of 10,000 meters. He poked out his claws and pointed at Sun Gohan below from a distance. Next second, whoosh, densely packed, countless purple light spinning balls, carrying destructive fluctuations, bombarded Sun Gohan like a barrage of bullets. The energy contained in each sphere of purple light is enough to easily destroy thousands of galaxies. Obviously, Sun Gohan can't dodge this move of Beerus, he can only block it. Otherwise, whenever a violet spinning ball hits the ground, the Earth will turn into a universe with billions of human beings living on it. Looking at the dense purple light spots falling from the sky, Piccolo and others on the deck are already scalp numb. They stared at the figure in the sky with purple silver energy aura lingering. Now the fate of the Earth can only depend on Sun Gohan. Deck, Wiss also stared at Sun Gohan's back, muttering to himself, Now how do you deal with it, Mr. Sun Gohan? Want to destroy the Earth? I won't let you mess around. Sun Gohan's eyes were fixed, and then his big hand stretched out, and then he shook it suddenly. Under everyone's shocked eyes, I saw that the countless purple light spinning balls began to approach a central point, and finally formed a super large purple light spinning ball. The light that bloomed above the purple light spinning ball made the originally dark sky much brighter. The energy contained in it has reached an extremely terrifying level. If this super large purple light spinning ball explodes, not only the Earth, but the entire seventh universe will be wiped out in an instant. Master Beerus, return it to you. With a light push from Sun Gohan's palm, the purple light spin ball returned the same way, and Ruth went away. Click, click, wherever the super large purple light spinning ball passed along the way, the space collapsed, leaving a series of shocking space cracks, which shocked everyone's visual nerves. Beerus didn't say a word. He tapped his fingertips lightly in the air, accompanied by a purple-black ripple rippling out. The spinning sphere of purple light that was heading straight for him was quickly annihilated at a speed visible to the naked eye. It's still very easy to clear the energy I emit. Beerus said lightly, but there was a sense of arrogance in his tone. Really, then it's up to me. At the same time, I saw Sun Gohan put his fingers on his forehead, and the energy of lightning flashing continuously was condensing. See this scene, Piccolo's pupils shrank suddenly on the deck, this action is magic penetration light cannon, Piccolo got goose bumps all over his body when he realized that Sun Gohan was going to use the magic light to kill the cannon. This is his own nirvana, which Piccolo taught Sun Gohan when he was training him to deal with the upcoming Vegeta. No doubt, the power of the magic penetrating light cannon is huge, it has absolute penetrating power, as long as the opponent's strength is not completely crushed, then the magic penetrating light cannon is an absolute threat. Back then, Piccolo only had a fighting power of a few hundred, but he could kill Raditz with a fighting power of 1,500 with the help of the magic gun light killing cannon. From this, we can get a glimpse of how powerful the magic gun is. 
Not to mention, Sun Gohan's strength is not far behind Beerus. It is foreseeable that even Beerus will feel extremely headache when Sun Gohan shoots the magic gun. At the same time, Sun Gohan's magic light killing cannon has been fully charged, his eyes are sharp, and he suddenly shouted, Magic light killing cannon. Boom, accompanied by Sun Gohan's deep shout, a magic light cannon surrounded by spiral energy suddenly pierced through the space and blasted out. Under this magic light cannon, the surrounding Weibo became completely dark. The magic light cannon carries an unstoppable force, aiming directly at Beerus's heart with lightning force. The magic gun cannon is extremely fast, but Beerus stretches out an index finger unhurriedly. Destroy, a destructive energy bomb exuding destructive waves swept out from his fingertips and swooped down on Sun Gohan's magic gun. Next second, the magic gun light killing cannon and the destructive energy bomb met in a shocking manner. The moment the two met, there wasn't any shocking explosion, what was just the two streams of energy eroding each other. Sun Gohan's magic light cannon has extremely strong penetrating power, while Beerus's destructive energy is the most domineering and destructive energy in the universe. When the two meet, it must be the tip of the needle. For a while, the magic light killing cannon and the destructive energy bomb were deadlocked in midair. But faintly, the magic light cannon seemed to gain the upper hand and began to push back Beerus's destructive energy bomb. Gohan has the upper hand. Seeing this scene, Keelan on the deck exclaimed excitedly. It's not that easy. However, Piccolo is not optimistic. From 18, it can be seen that Beerus has not exerted his full strength yet. The situation will certainly continue to reverse. Until the final result comes out, no one can tell whether Sun Gohan has the upper hand or Beerus has the upper hand. Sun Gohan and Vegeta held their breaths, staring at the magical light killing cannon and destructive energy bombs that seemed to be stalemate in the sky. 10,000 meters above the sky. The moment Beerus realized that the destructive energy bomb was pushed back, Beerus continued to increase the horsepower, continuously filling the destructive energy area. Under the continuous infusion of Beerus's destructive energy, the situation was reversed again. As soon as the destructive energy bullets turned on the offensive, they began to push back the magic gun. I will not lose so easily. Sun Gohan, who has unlimited energy, is not afraid of this kind of energy confrontation with Beerus. No matter how strong Beerus is, his energy always has a limit. But Sun Gohan himself has unlimited energy. Then, Sun Gohan is also constantly pouring energy into the magic gun. Finally, with you coming and going, the magic gun light killing cannon and destructive energy bomb that had been stalemate for a long time produced a shocking explosion. Boom, accompanied by a deafening bang, the energy storm generated by the explosion instantly covered the entire sky. Woo woo woo, the terrifying destructive power directly crushed the surrounding space. Looking up from the deck of the cruise ship, it was like a big hole had been punched in the sky, shocking everyone's visual nerves. On the edge of the huge space crack, there are still purple lightning jumping constantly, which is shocking. Looking at the sky that seemed to have been poked out of a big hole, the eyelids of everyone on the cruise ship twitched violently. This level of energy collision is truly terrifying. Look at Sun Gohan and Beerus again. Both of them were pushed back thousands of meters by a counter-shock force before they managed to stabilize their figures. Under this terrifying counter-shock force, the blood in Beerus's body was a little tumbling, and his breath was even more ups and downs. Looking back at Sun Gohan, due to the existence of the immortal body, the damage caused by the counter-shock force to his body has already been instantly repaired by the immortal body. So Sun Gohan doesn't seem to have any serious problems. In this confrontation, Sun Gohan had the advantage of being immortal and gained a certain advantage. Beerus clutched his chest, his face was a little ugly, Sun Gohan, you are the strongest opponent I have ever met in a million years. Sun Gohan shrugged, noncommittal. Lord Beerus, talking is useless, let's fight. Sun Gohan's fighting spirit has been completely mobilized by Beerus. Beerus is indeed worthy of the title of the strongest gods of destruction. If it were any other gods of destruction, he would have already fallen. As for Beerus now, it was only because of the counter-shock force generated by the energy collision just now that it shook him a little bit. Other than that, it's fine. Next second, Sun Gohan and Beerus moved in unison. Carrying a long tail of energy light, the two met once again in the posture of sparks hitting the earth. 
Boom. At that moment, an invisible shock wave that was too terrifying to describe spread out, and the shock wave was like ripples, and soon spread to every corner of the seventh universe. Immediately afterwards, the confrontation between Sun Gohan and Beerus made the scalps of Sun Goku and others on the deck tingle. Because with every collision between Sun Gohan and Beerus, the space collapses like a broken mirror. The intensity of the collision between them is so strong that even the space cannot bear it. After another fierce battle, Sun Gohan grabbed a gap in Beerus, his fist lingering with purple-silver energy flames cut through the space, and slammed into Beerus's face. Beerus didn't dodge or evade, and took the posture of desperate Saburo, and launched a confrontation with Sun Gohan. Lord Beerus, this is irrational. Sun Gohan also gave a friendly reminder, but Beerus didn't listen to it at all, and insisted on confronting Sun Gohan head-on. Finally, boom, boom, two heavy muffled bangs sounded together, and the fists of Sun Gohan and Beerus landed on each other's faces almost at the same time. After punching each other, the two of them kept moving, alternately between fists, another punch was thrown head-on. Bang bang bang. In just a few seconds, Sun Gohan and Beerus had blasted each other dozens of times. Seeing these two hurting each other as if they didn't know how to write pain, the eyelids of everyone on deck twitched wildly. Are you two planning to decide the winner like this? But, as Sun Gohan and Beerus continued to confront each other, Wiss frowned. This is not good. Yes. This kind of fighting method of hurting each other is extremely bad for Beerus. Because after dozens of punches, Beerus was obviously about to be overwhelmed, but Sun Gohan acted like a normal person, as if he didn't know how to spell pain. Hey, Vados, this, isn't it right, Sun Gohan, why? Outside the earth, Champa also looked confused. Although it was fun to see Beerus being beaten, Sun Gohan, who also received dozens of punches from Beerus, looked like a normal person, which aroused Champa's doubts. Vados narrowed his beautiful eyes and analyzed. Mr. Sun Gohan, it seems that there is some kind of ability that can instantly heal injuries. Otherwise, there is no way to explain that Sun Gohan took dozens of punches from Beerus head-on without any injuries, and even his breath is so stable. From this point of view, it is indeed a bit irrational for Beerus to fight with Sun Gohan to hurt each other. Boom. Finally, after Beerus took Sun Gohan's 99 punches abruptly, he couldn't take it anymore and was blown away by Sun Gohan's punch. Wow, seeing this scene, there was an uproar on the deck. Judging from the current situation, it seems that Sun Gohan has the upper hand. At this time, Beerus had a bruised nose and a swollen face, his breathing was disordered and fluctuating, while Sun Gohan was unscathed. Judging from the state of the two, anyone with a discerning eye could see who had gained the upper hand in the confrontation just now. You boy, Beerus clutched the face that was in constant pain, his eyelids twitched violently. He can see it, Sun Gohan really doesn't know how to write pain. In this round of confrontation just now, he was the only one who was injured, and Sun Gohan was not affected at all. How do you fight this one? Sun Gohan grinned and said, Master Beerus, I have reminded you just now, if you don't listen, there is nothing I can do. Sun Gohan is completely fearless in the confrontational bombing mode of harming each other with his immortal self. Not to mention just holding Beerus's fist hard, even if he uses, destruction, Sun Gohan is not afraid at all. After all, Sun Gohan has already verified with Vermut that Gods of Destruction's causal magic skill, destruction, cannot destroy the immortal body under the Super Shenron's wish product. Unless, it is Zeno's clearing ability, otherwise the current Sun Gohan would not be able to kill him at all. It's hard to even get hurt. But regardless of his immortality, Sun Gohan can win against Beerus by relying on hard power alone, but it is a little easier on the premise of having an immortal body. After the confrontation just now, Beerus obviously realized this too. If he continues to fight like this, he will definitely lose. Therefore, in order to keep his majesty as gods of destruction, Beerus must win with one blow. Immediately, Beerus's eyes froze, he raised his right hand high above his head, and said in a deep voice, Sun Gohan, I will never lose in today's battle, so. Hum. As Beerus's voice fell, a purple spot of light quietly bloomed from Beerus's palm. Then, this inconspicuous purple spot suddenly expanded, forming a swirling ball of purple light that covered the sky and the sun. A sphere of purple light that covers the sky hangs high in the sky, 
and even the sun in the sky looks like a firefly in front of this sphere of purple light. The purple light that bloomed on it illuminated the world, and a deep breath of death enveloped everyone's heart in an instant. The energy contained in it has reached an extremely terrifying level. Master Beerus, want to destroy the earth. Vegeta's face was serious, with a trace of cold sweat sliding down his forehead, and he said in a dark voice, no, he wants to destroy the entire universe. This sphere of purple light that covered the sky and the sun fell together, and the entire seventh universe would be wiped out in an instant. In order to win this battle, Beerus has already started to do whatever it takes. Piccolo's face turned green with fright. Wiss' eyes are also slightly narrowed. He will not stop Beerus at this moment, but if there is anything wrong with the situation, he will stop Beerus immediately. After all, Angel's duty is not only to guide the gods of destruction, but also to ensure the safety of the universe. Obviously, Wiss is not going to let Beerus destroy the seventh universe and do nothing. Beyond the Earth, so in the universe space outside the Earth, Vados and Champa can still clearly see the purple light spinning ball from Beerus with naked eyes. The purple light that blooms on it is extraordinarily dazzling. Beerus this guy, staring at Beerus who had resorted to the last resort in the light curtain, Champa's face gradually became gloomy. How similar is Beerus now to himself back then? Thinking about it, Beerus should not be reconciled to losing to a human. But well, deep in Champa's heart, he still hoped to see Beerus lose, so that Beerus would not have the right to mock himself for his loss to Sun Gohan. On the contrary, he didn't know his own affairs, and he could use the fact that he lost to Sun Gohan today to mock him. Simply killing two birds with one stone. Sun Gohan. Beerus stood at a height of 10,000 meters, and said in a dignified voice, this is all my energy. If you can take this trick, you will win today. Bring it on. Sun Gohan shrugged without changing his expression. Sun Gohan also knew that if he wanted Beerus to admit defeat willingly, he had to use a force completely above him. Next second, procrastinating again, he waved his fingertips lightly. The spinning ball of purple light that covered the sky and the sun immediately descended with a dazzling brilliance like a star. Click, click, the huge potential energy generated by the falling purple light spinning ball caused all the spaces along the way to collapse. In front of this purple light spinning ball, the space is as fragile as paper, and the scalps of Sun Goku, Piccolo and others on the deck are numb. Now, everyone held their breath, staring fixedly at the figure in the sky surrounded by purple-silver energy flames. Everyone knows that only Sun Gohan can block such a terrifying energy attack. Even if they were tied up together, they would probably be crushed into scum by the terrifying and indescribably huge potential energy before they got close to the purple light spinning ball. Don't you see that even the space can't bear such a huge potential energy, so it collapses inch by inch? How can they resist this group of flesh and blood? Master Beerus, quote, Sun Gohan blinked his deep red pupils, and said lightly, maybe you don't know that I am not at my full strength right now. If that is the case, let me show you my full strength. The words fell, Sun Gohan's mind moved, and the purple-silver energy arrogance that had been lingering around him became deeper and higher. His aura also undergoes a qualitative change at this moment. When Sun Gohan Ok Jiao transformed into the beast form 2, Vados outside the earth raised his vermilion lips slightly, and directly pronounced the defeat of Beerus, Ok, the battle is over. Vados could see it. Just now Sun Gohan probably didn't let Beerus lose too badly, so he didn't transform into the beast form at the beginning. Otherwise, the battle would have ended long ago. Midair, as Sun Gohan transformed into the second stage of the beast form, Beerus's heart skipped a beat. Immediately afterwards, under everyone's gaze, Sun Gohan stretched out one hand, pointed at the purple spinning ball carrying the power that could easily destroy the seventh universe, and faintly said a word, stop. Rumble, say what you say. As Sun Gohan's voice fell, Beerus used all his energy to send out a purple spinning ball, which was stopped in midair, unable to fall any further. No. Impossible. When the purple spinning ball stopped following Sun Gohan's words, Beerus couldn't keep his composure any longer and let out a horrified sound. His strongest blow was so easily called out by Sun Gohan. Even Beerus, who has lived for hundreds of millions of years, has fallen into a life of deep doubt at this moment. All of this was actually done by a human being. And a Saiyan. A nation once ruled by frozen demons like King Cold and Frieza. 
Immediately, Sun Gohan shook his hand suddenly. The super large purple light spinning ball that covered the sky and easily destroyed the seventh universe quickly shrank in everyone's eyes and finally completely annihilated. Was eliminated. Beerus used all his strength to send out the purple light spinning ball, which was eliminated by Sun Gohan in a flick of his fingers. It took less than a second for Beerus's expression to change from horror at the beginning, to disbelief, to decadence. He dispelled the purple-black destructive energy lingering on his body, and frowned slightly, you won, Sun Gohan. When Sun Gohan eliminated his all-out blow, Beerus knew he had lost. And as a real loss. His power as gods of destruction has been completely crushed by Sun Gohan as a human. Although this made Beerus feel aggrieved, but he, Beerus, is not someone who can afford to lose. If he loses, he loses. There is nothing he dares to admit. The moment Beerus conceded defeat, everyone on the deck heaved a long sigh of relief. Now it seemed that the earth did not need to be destroyed. Until now, everyone has not forgotten the moment when Sun Gohan eliminated Beerus's strongest blow just now. Several times, when they thought that was Sun Gohan's full strength, Sun Gohan could always give everyone a huge surprise. To say that the biggest surprise and shock is the second stage of the final beast form. After all, Sun Gohan has been fighting Beerus in beast form for a long time, even Wis thought that was Sun Gohan's full strength, but the fact is. Sun Gohan still hides a stronger power and hasn't used it. And when Sun Gohan unleashes his full strength, that's when the battle is finalized. At this time, Sun Gohan and Beerus are back on deck. Sun Gohan had a smile on his face, while Beerus was downcast. Gohan, that beast form of yours just now is really amazing. By the way, can I also change into that Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue color? Sun Goku greeted him first, and said with a playful smile. Sun Gohan couldn't help laughing, and replied, of course. Sun Gohan, since Kakarot can do it, then I should do it too. At this time, Vegeta also came up with a cheeky face. Even if Sun Gohan's strength is beyond his reach, Vegeta can ignore it, but he must not lose to Sun Goku. He has been competing with Sun Goku for more than 10 years. As a Saiyan prince, he was born as a genius fighter, so he can't live in the shadow of Sun Goku who was born as a low-level fighter. Sun Gohan nodded slightly, not to mention these things. After dismissing Vegeta temporarily, Sun Gohan turned around, patted the dejected Beerus on the shoulder, and enlightened him, Master Beerus, you don't have to be sad, after all, you are not the first one to lose to me. Gods of destruction, tell you a secret that makes you happy. Speaking of this, Sun Gohan deliberately lowered his voice slightly, and said quietly, your brother Champa lost to me almost 10 years ago. Hearing this, Beerus frowned, are you serious? Of course, I can lie to you. Sun Gohan said with certainty. Hey, that's fine. Only then did Beerus change his frowning expression just now, speaking of which, how did you cultivate? Saiyan can be so, biff. This is the question that has been lingering in Beerus's mind since just now. If Saiyan can be as strong as Sun Gohan, then how could the Saiyan nation be ruled by the Kurds and Frieza in turn and serve as their money-making tools? Of course I guided him to practice. At this moment, a soul-stirring voice of Yujia came from behind. Sun Gohan, Beerus and the others looked back together, only to realize that the sixth universe gods of destruction Champa and Angel Vados had appeared on the deck at some unknown time. Oops, Wiss raised his eyebrows slightly in surprise. Sure enough, he guessed right, Sun Gohan must have practiced with an angel, but he didn't expect it to be his sister Vados at first. Champa, why are you here? As soon as Wanshi's friends met, Beerus immediately frowned, and even his tone became a little hostile. Champa put his hands on his hips, playing with his taste, shouting, of course I came to see how you made a fool of yourself. I saw everything about how you lost to Sun Gohan just now. What a mess, Beerus. Facing Champa's sarcasm, Beerus smiled instead of anger, you fat pig is not qualified to say that about me, you lost to Sun Gohan 10 years ago, right? What? Hearing this, Champa, who was originally playful, changed his face, gritted his teeth and said, Sun Gohan, you actually betrayed me. Ah this. Sun Gohan smiled awkwardly but politely, then whistled nonchalantly. What does it mean that Sun Gohan betrayed you? Beerus also excused Sun Gohan in a timely manner, 
I just need to inquire about this kind of thing casually, who else do you want to hide from? Beerus, let's fight one on one. Champa was impatient on the spot. Come on, I'm still afraid of you fat pig. Although Beerus can't beat Sun Gohan, but it's more than enough to beat Champa. Looking at Beerus and Champa who looked like a pair of happy friends, everyone shook their heads helplessly. Gohan, why don't you introduce these two to us? At this time, Bulma came up to meet him, gestured to Champa who was arguing with Beerus, and Vados who was already beside Champa. That's Champa, the gods of destruction of the sixth universe, that miss Vados. Sun Gohan was about to introduce Vados, but Vados took the initiative to come up and greeted Bulma. Hello, Mrs. Sun, my name is Vados, I am the angel of the sixth universe, and I am also Mr. Sun Gohan's teacher. So it was you. Bulma shook hands with Vados warmly. Number 18 and Vital also came up one after another to shake hands with the teacher Sun Gohan, which can be regarded as a preliminary acquaintance. After it was over, Vados joked, intentionally or unintentionally, Mr. Gohan is really lucky. He married three beautiful wives. I'm really envious of others. Ah this. Sun Gohan scratched his head, not knowing what to say, so he quickly changed the subject. Speaking of which, why are you and Master Champa here? That's right, Mr. Champa and I are looking for a super wishing bead that can grant any wish. We found the seventh universe. Just now Mr. Champa said that we need to find a place to rest, so I propose to come here visiting Mr. Gohan. Vados put it succinctly. I see. Sun Gohan glanced at Champa, who was still arguing with Beerus, and said, Well, you guys talk first, I'll go, otherwise this birthday party can't be held. After the persuasion of Sun Gohan acting as a middleman, Beerus and Champa stopped temporarily. Isn't tasting delicious food more interesting than arguing with you? While Sun Gohan is taking Beerus and Champa to a delicious meal, Vegeta finds Vados in good time. After knowing that it was Vados who guided Sun Gohan to practice, Vegeta also temporarily put down his Saiyan airs and said respectfully, Miss Vados, hello, my name is Vegeta. Oh, Vados raised her eyebrows slightly and asked curiously, Mr. Vegeta, what do you want? Vegeta, who has always been used to being arrogant, didn't even know how to say polite words at this moment, but asked bluntly, please guide me in cultivation, I also want to become as strong as Sun Gohan, please. After all, Vegeta bowed deeply. Vegeta's actions stunned Sun Goku, Piccolo and others, as well as his wife Taizi. Taizi had never seen Vegeta so humble before. It seems that he has made up his mind to become stronger. Vados took a look at Vegeta, shook his head and said, Sorry, Mr. Vegeta, first of all, I don't accept students easily, and your talent is far inferior to that of Mr. Sun Gohan. Secondly, you still need to convince Mr. Champa, but I guess you are out of luck. Heard the words, Vegeta's heart skipped a beat, his expression changed, and he said unwillingly, then how did Sun Gohan convince Mr. Champa? Vados explained patiently, of course it's food, but Master Champa has tasted almost all the food now, so I will say that you are out of luck. Vegeta was at a loss for words, but let him give up, Vegeta is extremely unwilling. Not to mention Sun Gohan's suffocating beast form, even if he can only cultivate to Super Saiyan and Super Blue. But thinking of Champa, who had had a quarrel with Beerus just now, Vegeta also felt that it would be a little difficult for him to persuade Champa. What else can I do? Now he can only count on Sun Gohan. That night, tonight's night sky is full of stars and a full moon hangs high. A bright milky way across the sky, like a dream. It was already late at night, and Bulma's grand birthday party had come to a successful conclusion. Wiss and Beerus had left, and most of them had gone to sleep and rested. On the top deck, Sun Gohan is sitting here alone looking at the moon while checking the rewards for today's quest for beating Beerus. Potential Limit Opener It can fully release one's own potential, and then practice to obtain a huge strength improvement, which still has a huge effect on the current strength of the host. 1. Yo, seeing the system's introduction to this so-called Potential Limit Opener, Sun Gohan raised his eyebrows with great interest. Sure enough, he was right in thinking, this so-called Potential Limit Opener is equivalent to opening up the two veins of Ren and Du in martial arts novels. Sun Gohan also knows that as his strength continues to improve, the potential hidden in his body will become stronger, but it is not as easy as imagined to release this potential and turn it into his own power. 
It can even be said to be difficult. But with this potential limit opener it's not the same. It is foreseeable that as long as the potential limit is unlocked, and then practice, one's own strength can definitely increase linearly. Immediately, Sun Gohan stopped hesitating and said in his mind, System, use the potential limit opener. Received host request, potential limit opener has been used. As the system's electronic notification sounded in his mind, Sun Gohan immediately entered a state of epiphany, that feeling was like breaking through a bottleneck, and his whole body was extremely transparent. This feeling is incomparable, so wonderful that no words can describe it. And, Sun Gohan could clearly feel that as the limit of his own potential was opened up, his power experienced a short-term blowout growth. The original normal combat power of 1.5 guy soared to 3 guy in almost a short moment. In other words, just using this potential limit opener has doubled his strength. Ah, comfortable. Even Sun Gohan couldn't help but make a strange sound at this moment. Mr. Gohan, what are you doing? Cemetery. Vados's soul-stirring Yuji voice came from behind, and Sun Gohan, who had just made a strange sound, jumped into the air and asked in panic, why don't you have any sound at all? Puff. Vados covered his mouth with a smile and joked, Mr. Gohan is so cute. Sun Gohan adjusted a little, then sat down again, and asked, why haven't you gone to rest yet? Vados said, it's not in a hurry, besides, it doesn't matter if I rest or not, but I am concerned about Mr. Gohan, your preparation for the big gods of destruction test four years later. With your current strength, it is very difficult to pass the test of the great gods of destruction space. There are still four years left, enough. Sun Gohan glanced at Vados on the side, and said to himself, do you believe it? These four years are enough for me to surpass you. Is it? Vados raised his beautiful eyes, and questioned, but you have been away from me for nearly ten years, and your strength has not improved much. I am afraid that you have four years left to surpass me. It's a little difficult. Sun Gohan smiled and did not refute Vados, but said, how about we make a bet? Oh, Vados was slightly interested, how to bet? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.